Meeting is now streaming live on Facebook. Cool. Let me get a break somewhere. One second. All right, we're back. Cool. Let me share this around. Late start, I know. I've, today got really busy out of nowhere. Okay. Can I see it? Come on, load. All right, can't share it. What's up, Skinny? How you doing? Let me uh, go ahead and... Put this participants invite. It's kind of a half-assed show. I apologize, everybody. I've been working all week. I got mental fatigue. I'm slowly going out of my mind. Here we go. Join. Can I share this or what's going on with this? Come on, man. Overview. There we go. That might help. That's annoying. Why? Why are we doing it like this? Come on, bro. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to hit share. Apologize, everybody. Um, there we go. I'm just going to share the groups. I'm trying to get the pop of my phone, but services ass here. Um, not in our usual set tonight. We're actually broadcasting in uh, Westchester, Pennsylvania. We're at a random hotel. Uh, couldn't really, I didn't really have any jerseys to put up. I don't really have a Scorpions jersey, and I don't have a No Mercy one either. So, But if you want to donate one, we are always taking jerseys here at TBT. Send them in. We'll have them up behind our wall, and you can have your team featured on air. Let's get this shared around some more. Apologies, everybody, if this is boring. Since my phone wasn't helping, I got to manually share it on here instead, which is a pain. Jeez, everybody's dropping out. Yeesh. All right, perfect. Share there. Copy link. Let's get this going. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's show. I'm your host, Joey Blaze. For a few of you watching, if any at this stage, because I spent the first two minutes of the show just kind of wasting time trying to figure this out. We're here to talk tonight about the No Mercy Scorpions. They're displayed on the background behind me. Um, like I said, I didn't really have a uh, set for tonight's episode because I'm not in my normal location, nor am I at our other location. So, instead, we're here. We're at a hotel. Let me turn this AC off. That's not going to turn off. Oh, well. I don't know how loud it is. If it's too loud, let me know. Um, but yeah, so last past weekend, we were at the math for playoffs. Let me first by start saying, I know I said that earlier we were going to have a rankings for the leagues and all that, Everybody, every league combined. I'm holding off on that because I actually never got around to finishing it. Uh, right after I made the post, I got stuck with a bunch of stuff and work-related, family-related, just related. All kinds of stuff happening. Busy, busy, busy times. And I'm just glad that we have finished another spring season. It's finally in the books. First time we've had a spring season anywhere in two years. And boy, what a spring season it was for the No Mercy Scorpions, who everybody expected to come in and do work. They made the official move to A. They played A Nationals back in January. We didn't quite have everybody down there for that. They were a little short. Uh, they played extremely well down there, however. Even got a victory over the Gladiators. Um, ended up going down to the Punishers in day two. Tough draw. You, it's not much you can do there when you get Punishers right out the gate on day two when you're already short and playing in a, a Nationals. That was so competitive. And what I have to argue is the most competitive I've seen nine-man flight football since I started covering this sport. Um, but let's take a look at Sunday and what went down. Uh, first, 
let's take a look at the first game we did. It was about 9 a.m. Look at the comments real quick. St. Louis playoffs this weekend, Skinny. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Looking forward to that, man. Uh, hope, I don't know if you, hopefully you guys got lives going. Uh, hopefully I can see that. I know I got the YAFFL Just Win 8s tournament. That's going to be up at York on Saturday. You'll get a look at a couple of nine-man teams up there. Uh, Baez Auto will be there. Gusto Land. Those two are going to face off. That game last year that they played over in uh, Clash of York 2 was awesome. And we'll have more on that tomorrow night when we cover YAFFL Just Win 8s. Um, of course, you'll also see while we're up there, 717 Elite be playing. And keep an eye on that Black Ops squad. I hear there's a lot of familiar faces on that team. I'm really looking forward to seeing who all pops up for them at YAFFL Just Win 8. Links in the comment if you all want to join in on the call. This is Scorpions Night. No mercy, Scorpions Night. Um I still say the abbreviated name. I know it's no mercy initially. Um, but if you want to come in, talk some nine man, anything, it's an open forum. It's going to be the only nine man show we do this week. Uh, we're doing semi pro and eight man YAFFL style tomorrow night. Um, and then after that, we got a whole tournament this weekend, followed by five nights in a row of shows. We're going to have some fun. We got Travis jumping in right out the gate. Welcome, my man. Connecting right now, see if we can get them on. Joining us now is the MVP of Sunday. What's up, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? I can't complain, man. I can't complain. What's going on? It's a beautiful, beautiful night. It's a good time. Another weekend yeah. of football coming up. We're at the halfway point. Um, but before we get to that, let me adjust the screen. Let's talk about what went down. M-A-F-F-L on Saturday. Travis, I think you've achieved quite a feat. In less than a year, you've won Owings Mills, Washington County, and Maple. What's next? Um, shit. I mean, I would like to win KFFL. I mean, we might do, you know, I plan on doing that this fall with the Misfits. So, you know. So that's a confirmation. We'll have Travis Hale with the Misfits this fall, so... So I'm assuming we're going to see a little bit more of what the Misfits were last year in Washington County for KFFL. Yeah. I mean, we're going to bring a squad, you know, you know, similar to what we had in Hagerstown. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys bring up there. I think it's going to really uh, shake things up up in Shippensburg. Like right now, the league just had their best season ever, most competitive by far. Um, you had about six – teams that were legitimate contenders by the end of the season out of the seven in the league. Um, very competitive league up there in KFFL. I'm not sure offhand if there is anybody who's won all four leagues yet in this region. You might be the first one. I'm going to shoot for it. I'm telling you, I'm going to shoot for it. Like, <laughs> it's a first for everything, man. So, like, there's a couple tournaments I haven't won. Like there's, I haven't won AC, um, you know, that's on the list, but, you know, I've won Ocean City, I've won, shit, I've won Hagerstown, I've won the national championship, so, you know, I'm trying to win pretty much every tournament that is, you know, so. Give me your thoughts on what went down this past weekend at MAFFL, starting with the first game, you guys drew AFN, who had just beaten Team Petty a few moments earlier. And this game was pretty one-sided. We were going to go live for it, but by the time the Rampage PME game wrapped up, well, no mercy in AFM was already over. Well, I'll tell you this much, man. Like, we came in with the mindset of this. Like, we weren't going to play around with anybody who stepped in front of us. Like, the biggest thing was this. Like, you know, it was pretty much what happened at Owens Mills, we were tired. You know, we went into overtime with Misfits and Titans, you know, damn near three games and two. So we figured, hey, we do what we're supposed to do. We won't be in that position, you know. And AFN was first on the chopping block. Now, granted, I don't think we've ever lost to AFN. So, 
you know, it's kind of like, actually, we did lose the AFN in Florida a few years ago. That's the only loss. But, and then from there, it was kind of like, hey, that was setting the tone for the day. I'm not even going to lie. Like, that that was setting the tone. I knew right then and there, though, after that game, like, anybody else who stepped in our way was going to get it. So, And a lot of people got it that day as you and Greg Proctor are put on an <laughs> offensive clinic this weekend. <laughs> Down there, what half of the splash, brother? Yeah, tell him, man. Tell him that's a like we've been doing this what 10 plus years, man. Like, literally 10 plus years, like, not even just nine, man. You know, we played other styles together, and like, when I say probably our chemistry is ridiculous, like, to the point where like he knows where I'm gonna be. He knows how I like the football, you know, in certain routes. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, hey, it just makes it that much easier. You know, and everybody says it all the time. Like, oh, you know, he's going to run the same route, da 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 Stop but it. Can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> just stop it. Facts, facts. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. Like, I love playing with some other quarterbacks. But, like, man, it's just kind of like, yo, I'm not – if he ain't rocking that, like, you know, hey, I am not rocking, but I know it shouldn't be that way, but <laughs> it's kind of been like that. So <laughs> I had to spotlight Greg real quick, get a look at that <laughs> trophy behind him. I saw, oh, him yeah, off. yeah, yeah, you know, I, I put it up there. <laughs> look at the hardware <laughs> on that. Yeah, yeah man. I mean, this, this is light work, man, you know. Is there a tour? Like, is that the, is the whole room dedicated to that? Is there? Oh no, no, nah, nah, y'all really don't want man. If y'all really know what the, is in this room, man, <laughs> y'all be like yo, <laughs> <laughs> y'all be like yo, this motherfucker crazy. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh, but yeah, man. Joey, we um, but. but you know, I, the chemistry between us, like I say, it, it's ridiculous, man. It's only it's only getting better. You know, we're learning a lot on the fly. So it's kind of like, you know, e- each week, you never know what you're going to get with us. So, And it's the end of and Joy, for real. Yo, I, <laughs> some people don't think he is. But, yo, he's probably one of the most humble receivers I have on the team, man. Or just been playing with. He'll, he's opening it up for other people. It's just so, just so happen that the other people that are like they're doubling the other people. So it's just making my job that much easier. Yeah, but he's I calling the plays saw- for other people. He's like, let me run this route. He'll be open. All right, cool. Yeah, and that worked out extremely well offensively on Sunday. Um, Albeit, the second game of Dream was quite a battle. The young upstart Dream, Yeah, I got to give them credit. In less than a year, they have really, really made a huge splash down there at Maple. And when you take a look at the work they put in the circuit, they're going out there and they're playing on that A-level with you guys, along with Misfits, Elite Rebels. And, of course, they're going up against the likes of Strong Island, Punisher, Main Event, and Lions. Uh, I give those guys a lot of credit. Uh, I got a chance to finally actually see them locally. I didn't. I saw them in AC, albeit I had to watch from the monitor, so it was a little different. Being right. up close and watching that dream team play, there's something there. They got something brewing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was just on the uh... – on the phone with one of their corners, one of their DBs uh, yesterday, just telling them, man, they get they got to hang in there, man. They they got something going on over there. They really do. Facts, absolutely. Yeah, they really do. It's the, it's just that um, you know right now the the QB is young, inexperienced with nine man. You know, and it's just a matter of you know the more game time he gets, the more reps he gets, you know, the better he'll get. So. It just takes time, but at the same time, you know, I know some of even though they're young, I know they're trying to win now. So just as anybody would want to. Yeah. And they're on pace. I, I don't know who all will be returning to Maple next year. I don't know if you guys plan on making a second run down there. We'll uh, see. 
but like I said, it's depending on how it shapes up. I definitely, if you look at all the teams in the league right now, I think outside of you guys and Rampage, they're an easy number three. I wouldn't know. Uh, Who do you yeah, got? Yeah, I guess you can't really argue with it. Yeah, because like I, because you look at it, Dream on Sunday they, before they played you guys, they gave it to Blackhawks. Uh, Eighteen yeah. three was the final, and. You know, you look at the body of work they put in all season. They've competed with the best. They've learned. They've grown together. Um, they still got a lot of things to work on. The issue I noticed with the with the main event game and parts of the No Mercy game was a lot of the times they got arguing with each other on the sidelines. Yeah. You can't, oh, you can all right, Joey, I'm, I'm going to cut you off there, Joey, right? Let's keep it 100, Joey. All right. Look, all right. Like, we <laughs> want these other teams, like, you know, we want them to be successful, right? But at the end of the day, we know who half of these teams are. We know what we're going to get when you see them. Like, for instance, like you just said for Dream, we already knew if we take them out of their game, they're done for. They, as soon as you score on them, they're arguing. It, it's a known fact. It, it's a known fact. Like, as soon as I scored the touchdown, they were arguing on the sideline, get ready to fight. Same thing with a lot of these other teams down there. Adversity is what but a lot of these teams can't fight through. They can't fight through adversity. Now, granted, a lot of them are young and still learning, you know, but you know what you're going to get with them. They are who we are, who we thought they were. And let's just be honest, man. So, and I mean that in the most respectful way, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, because some of them, like, for instance, when we played FOE, you know, a few weeks ago, you know, oh, y'all lost the FOE. Man, we had just won two games before that earlier in the day, and we decided, you know what, we just go ahead and play around a little bit. You know, we did some different things on offense, let somebody else run quarterback for a little while, you know. Granted, we lost that game, but if we wouldn't have played around with them, we easily would have beat them by three touchdowns, easily. Oh, I mean, that's so, what we – they didn't quite – they had a rough Sunday. Southside took them out early. That yeah. was the big upset nobody talked about. Southside knocking out FOE in the first round. After FOE had gotten to the two seed, six and four on the year. We had talked about they were very much improved from where they were in Oni's Mills last season, uh, playing up there. But one and done just like that, falling to Southside, who they had a pretty good day themselves. They ended up uh, losing to Rampage by the eight in that semifinal. That was a competitive game. Um it was there was a lot of great talent and competition down there this past weekend on Tucker Road. Oh yeah, it um, definitely was, man. It was like it wasn't like there was any. I mean, other than maybe like the AFN and our you know our game, but all the other games were close, except for the championship game. You know that was ass whooping, like that was child abuse. That's what that was. But you know, um, yeah, it was some good games. And speaking on a championship game, like shit. And to be honest, if Rampage would have caught us fresh in Owens Mills, it would have been a different outcome. I'm just going to stamp that right then and there. Like, if we were fresh, we, it would have been a different outcome. That was like their, what, second, maybe third win against us in the last, I don't know how many years. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it was, it was one that counted. And they, you know what? Yeah. They beat our ass. They, beat. they deserved that. You know, we're not going to make no – they whooped our ass, but they were supposed to. They saw the weakness and they took advantage of it. So, hey, yeah, the sun and and fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> that sun both days was brutal. Yeah. yeah, honestly, I thought Tucker was way way hotter than uh, Essex that day. I think always, I think always, you guys, Mills was you guys played like three straight hours of ball at Owings Mills. Y'all played three games that day before Rampage. That's what it felt like. Three and a half. Yeah, the yeah. Tit the Titans game, and you also consider the Misfits game. And your mm -hmm. all's case, I think you guys were done for at least 45 minutes before the Maple Championship. And Rampage, I think, caught themselves overlooking Southside and wound up in a bit of a tough matchup there. And with that game running late and having to go right there, it's one of those cases where I feel like both times each side was affected some way or another by having just played in the heat. Mm. 
Now, from what that I understand, said, you guys I executed were. extremely well in that championship game. You guys played perfect football outside of that pick one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, hey. that was that that was all Greg Proctor's fault. Hell yeah. Front. That was that was a horrible read. You know, they sitting in the cover of five and you know, they just sat on it, but you know, that's I still my quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely fast, you know. <laughs> Boy, he's definitely fast. Yo, that's but, that's beyond fast, yo. Good God. I was yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm yeah. sure we'll see. Well, are they playing A in uh Trump City? Rampage yes. and MB yeah. at the moment. Or did they move up? I think I thought nah, I saw I think, them on the A. No, nah, they're still they're still B. They're playing oh, B they? for Trump City, yeah. I was gonna say you might see him then, but um, I know the only ones playing up is like Dream Foe's playing up A. Um, Baez made the jump up to A four two. Oh damn, that's what's up. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how they do making that jump to A bracket because Baez has been one of the better B teams the last couple of years. Um, they're always in the top eight by the end of every tournament they're in. Shit, they had that. They've had our number a couple times, man. Shit, the last time oh, we played. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First I mean, outside times. of league play. Yeah, Ocean City, they got us. Virginia Beach, they got us. Yep. So. They're, they're one of those teams that I think a lot of guys sleep on when they watch them, not realizing that they play the game of flag football. And I, and I don't say nine-man extremely well. I say the game of flag football extremely well. They cross-train in that YAFFL eight-man style. Which I believe you said, Trav, you'll be up there this weekend. Nah, this weekend I'll be in a. I'm actually going to be playing eight man this weekend down uh, in Annapolis. I was going to play with Black Ops up in uh, up there, but I'm going to stay with my eight man team this weekend. So, okay, okay, from one eight man style to the other. Yeah, yeah, I was going to run with Black Ops, but my eight man team. We got a tournament, so I'm going to stay with them. So. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what that Black Ops team is going to be like this weekend. I've heard there's a couple of big time nine man names popping up it's, on that. Uh, roster. You're going to see, you're going to see about 75 percent of our team out there. <laughs> Maybe not, like probably like 50 percent of our team out there. Okay. Um, you're going to see a majority of our receiving core and DBs out there. Um, so, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. That's why that's why I'm betting on them to win, man. I'm betting on my boys to win. They definitely have a shot. Um, and I believe they can pull it out. It's gonna be interesting. The YAFFL eight man style, it's it's different. It's, it's, <laughs> it's very different. Yeah. How's it what, what makes it different? They play three down linemen, but only at the They're start. They're not eligible. Yeah. One can okay, go. I believe, so I like, believe, I believe, I believe one can go days. out. I one can go out. I believe because I've seen that uh, a couple times. Yeah, and they wear pop flags. So yeah, and they well they have poppers, but there's an option to wear any flag you want. Uh, we were at the uh, tournament back in Hanover in March, and the feature of the retro invaders came up and ended up wearing triple threat flags. And ran what wow. was more of an FFWCT eight man style of an offense with three down linemen. Okay. Three down linemen, and they cannot go out, right? Those are ineligible. I think one of them can at a certain point, but yeah, I know all of them aren't eligible. It's not eight man eligible. I do know what they do is some teams will keep their line down as just blockers because other teams will rush three, which. Mm -hmm. When you rush three, you got to have three down the whole time. You can't just let one guy go free. All right. Um, their field's a little shorter, too. I want to say 80. Yeah. There's no goalposts. They don't do field they're goals. They're playing. Matter of fact, they're playing where we played the uh, tournament back in, what was that, October, November? Yeah. Um, Clash of York, too. Yeah. So that's where they're playing. Yeah. The abandoned high school. Is my man reffing out there. <laughs> talking about Keith, I hope not. Is that his name? You talking about the guy, the white ref with the glasses? Yeah, yeah Keith. <laughs> Joey knows who we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you're talking. About. 
Hey, man. Oh, man. Keith's my guy. Keith's my guy up here in the fourth state. Don't rag on Keith. Hey, man. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> he's cool. <laughs> he's trying. He's trying. Yeah, he's getting there, man. Ooh, you can't get my boat. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Keith. Uh, currently recovered from a back injury. He's sustained a oh. back He'll be back in the fall, though. Okay. Well, you know, praise to him. Yeah. And the speedy recovery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Joey, are you covering the Charm City Classic? I thought about it. I think I'm just going to go and pick up a couple hours at DoorDash and try to make some money delivering some pizzas. Okay. Yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'll be there. I'll be there. I was about to say, man, you got to be there. <laughs> so so one so tournament, the one so tournament that's like an hour from here, I'm going to skip. <laughs> what, uh, what are some matchups you want to see? I got to like, pull up. Uh, let me try to pull up Robbie's most recent Charm City post. I got to see that team. You got, you got the Punishers coming. You got the Blazers. You got the Dogs. You got Main Event. You got Gladiators. I want to see a Blazers No Mercy rematch. Oh, you do. I, miss I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think Rob, Lane, Rob Lane doesn't want to see that. Rob Lane doesn't want to see that. <laughs> not, not at home. Not, at, not, yeah. not getting that good home cooking. He don't want that problem. <laughs> <laughs> I, definitely want a, I definitely want a main event rematch. But um, Yeah, actually, them and the Lions. Yeah. What that Lions game was? What was the final with that? Three nothing. That was the, three nothing. Yeah. Three nothing. Oh wow! Three nothing. And matter of fact, we dropped what two, two touchdowns, touchdowns that game. Yeah, we would have beat them. We dropped two touchdowns in the end zone. Yeah, we would have beat them. All right, I got the team list up. I gotta let me fix this real quick. And yeah, is that link good, Joey? Because uh, some of my guys are saying that they're having little issues, even though I think Tell it's error. Yeah, put it in the browser if it doesn't work because I don't have a password or anything on that. Right, right. That's what I thought. Yeah, that happens a lot of the times. You got to put it in like the web browser itself in order for yeah, it. Yeah, let me let them know. All right. Let me go ahead, pull up this. There's a team list for Charm City. We're going to go over it again. So you got Elite Rebels, Misfits. Can we get clarification? I've heard, oh, what just happened? Okay. Okay, perfect. We still on? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, my screen just randomly blacked out. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's definitely buffing. All right. Yeah, it might be the hotel connection. Let me stop sharing then. Hold on. We apologize, everybody. I'm in a hotel until at least tomorrow morning, and then I'm back where I'm from for a bit. Up here for work this week, and apparently the connection is not that great. All right, keep that in mind. Um. Let me pull up the team list. Matches I want to see. I want to see Baez against one of the big four North teams. Or even like throwing Blazers there too. I want to see that because I like to see how Baez auto translates from B to playing in A. And I think the best way to see where they measure up would be putting them against a main event in SI or a Blazers. I want the Punishers again because the Punishers fucked us up last year in our own tournament. Oh my god! You know I mean? So now, we want oh. the Punishers again. <laughs> god damn, Jared boy! Oh my so, god! All right, so Eric, both if you hear this shit, yes, we do want the Punishers again. <laughs> that'd be a, I'd be we'll be live to that one. That's I'm looking forward to that. And I think you guys had them down at nationals too, but I don't think either of you were there for that one. Yeah, well, you know I wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. I know you were. Yeah. I, I don't think Travis was either. No, nah, I was uh, Travis over was there. at uh, I, was, <laughs> I was there. I was at eight and, I was at eight and You know five, what man. I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Damn that. <laughs> we're going to say yeah. it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, he was there you know, at He just wasn't I, had to make, I, I just had to make it up to my guys. That's all, man. Oh, shit. Somebody joined it. I don't know who. Who else do I want to see? I want to see Ride Out go against one of the Northern teams too. I want to see a Ride Out versus Ride Out's playing A. Yeah, Ride it Out's an A. Okay, all right. Yeah, I don't know who James is, but James got to unmute himself. I want to see Misfits versus uh, Main Event. I think that'll be a good one. They have to that, face each other. Yeah, I want to see that or 
for the third tournament in a row, John Regan versus Chris Butte in a day one. <laughs> third, Dogs, yeah. Charm City 18, Mayhem played SI. And then AFN played SI at 19, Misfits mm. time, 2021. Okay. Because I, I thought a couple of years ago when Mayhem took them on, they played them well. Right. Um, and with the talent Misfits has now, I think that would get that would be an epic game to watch. That would be a battle, especially if they come with the squad they had at OMFFL this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Washington County All Stars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to that. Uh, to, well, I don't know what my man from the Misfits, uh, Al, I think. So he said I never beat him, but never beat the Misfits. So shout out to that brother. <laughs> I appreciate him. Hey, he's young. He's young. He's got a lot, a lot to learn. <laughs> Can't get right. That's all I call him. <laughs> <laughs> Should never wake up a sleeping bed when you dipped in honey and taste like salmon. <laughs> never wake up a grizzly bear like that, man. <laughs> but I'll tell you this much, Joey. Food. When it comes when it comes back to OMFFL this year, man, we're coming back for our for our yeah, so yeah, last, yeah, yeah. We talked about it. Out of the last eight seasons, only two teams have won the championship. Rampage has won two out of last won nine. Six. Actually, there's only been there's only been nine seasons in OMFFL history, and there's only been two teams to win the championship. And, and then, of course, yeah. Scorpions. And Rampage. Rampage has three. We actually have six. And this year we're going to have seven. We're yeah, yeah, back we'll for that seven. yeah. Yeah, we'll get that. Like we had a lot of, we, we were doing a lot of gelling this last couple months. So, you know, you got to remember after, you know, we picked up a couple extra pieces, you know, we only really had like three, four months to kind of try to get this shit together. But now we're hitting the ground running. So like I say in the fall, we coming back for that, man. That being, oh, yeah. said, that being said, having played this past spring in MAFL and OMFFL, what are the differences between both leagues that stood out to you the most on terms of competition, on terms of week to week? You just said it. <laughs> you just said it, Joe. It's the competition. I mean, you gotta look at like 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 we were saying before in, in other uh in past uh calls like this, um past interviews or whatever, um shows, I'm sorry. And OMFFL, man, like what the top shit, not eight, nine teams, man, they could they'll punt man, they could they could win any given Sunday. Any given Sunday. I agree with that. anybody. Yeah, like that was the one thing that was refreshing about covering Owings Mills this year compared to most leagues I've covered over the years was just the fact that one through nine, there was not much of a gap. I mean, you look back even the playoffs, Venom, they were in the bottom. They were number nine coming in. They pulled off the upset on Bulls. And that Rampage game in that first round was only 7 nothing. Right. And that's yeah, – that's We lost – let's be honest. Nothing. We lost to the Bulls. Did we? No, Grant. Yeah, remember we lost. Uh, did we beat them? No, no we, we beat did them. beat the Bulls. Yeah, yeah, right. No, we Venom beat lost. you guys. Venom on yeah, like Venom the last beat us. Yeah, Venom beat us. That was the first time Venom ever, ever, like ever. Yeah. ever. Like even Robbie when they were the, yeah, even when they were the Hawks and everybody, every all, other team then that they all had. All the other teams never ever beat us, but they caught us that day, any given Sunday. And that's what I think has been great about this like football year in Nine Man is watching the parody. The parody in this sport is insane right now. And you look at it, the amount of teams that are just suddenly jumping oh, in. Right. Teams. Yeah. Like you take a look at the teams in uh, Charm City. I still have no clarification on OTF. I've heard it's PME. But I've asked PME players who tell me it's not PME. Then I thought maybe it's the eight-man OTF, but I don't think they're for Virginia. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Travis, what do you know? What do you know? 
I'm laughing at this fool with his damn rings in it. Uh, oh, I see uh, that ring. Let me put the, let me spotlight that real quick. I got okay. spotlight that. There we go. We the the oh, those rings. You got nice. the world. You got the world championship ring. The league ring. Okay. <laughs> so if y'all went go out, yo, two more rings, and Brock's gonna be Thanos at the end of this. Hey, look. He's snap well, his if, fingers. If, if if Matt, if uh if Robbie and them had rings all this time, man, I'm already on the other yeah. hand. And this I'm about up. to say we we Tom Brady in there right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got six rings, but um <laughs> probably more, but like honestly, I like our that. chances, man. I like our chances, Joey, to win both leagues this fall, man. Like I, I honestly yes. do. It would be a historical feat, and it's it's interesting to think. Like, there were a lot of historic moments with Sunday's game between you all and Rampage. First time two teams had ever faced off against each other in two different league championships in yeah. any sort of DMV yeah. nine man. Um, you also sure. had an occurrence where you guys became, I believe, the second team – in this region to huh wonder who this is some initials i've never seen <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah. my man. i must have yeah. spoke, I, I, I spoke, I spoke yeah. you up. Well, well, yeah. champions in the room walk yeah, to the show I, eric it was good congratulations <laughs> fellas congratulations appreciate you brother yeah, yeah i must have spoke you up huh you heard you heard me call you out, huh? Nah, I didn't, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? I was trying I was, to get no, on. We, was talk, we were talking about matchups for Charm City, and I said, yo, I want to punch them again because they fucked us up last year. I said, yo, I, <laughs> year before, I said, yo, year before. I, I, yeah, year before. I said, yo, we need we need our get back, yo. And fuck that. No we doubt. want to punish us, yo. We we gonna be there. We definitely go, we gonna be there. We got a few, you know, few wrinkles, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, cause y'all, you know, y'all, y'all won, y'all won GCFFA. We, you know, it's only right that you know you face off one of the champions down here. Hey, I, I, I think that you know if we could get this, uh, this uh, tourney of champions thing going, you know, I think it's, it's a must right now. But with y'all winning, you know, ramp, y'all should have had two, but we, you know, that's I know y'all touched sure. on that already, you know, but <laughs> rampage winning. Punishers yeah. win, you know, Empire won out in uh, Pennsylvania. So it's definitely something that we should do, that tournament with just straight league champions, whatever your roster was for playoffs. You know what I'm saying? I think that would yeah. be dope. When you trying to make that happen, man? Like, what, what, what's the what's the um outline I, of it right now? I, I, I got the fields August 21st and 22nd, you know? So I got to get with everybody, the captains, and see what works. Because I know Demetrius has something going on on the 21st in Jersey, like the five-man tournament. So that might affect yeah, yeah. the XFL guys. Um, you know, it, it depends on how we want to do it. You know, if we want to do just straight single elim elimination, we don't need two days. We can do it in one day. You know, right, um, if we want right. to make it pool play and like, like a tournament, then we need two days. But I think single elimination might be the way to go. I think, I think that is. You know, we, we just pick the matchups randomly. Like, we'll pick them live randomly. They are what they are. And we just, you know, run the gauntlet. Each league, you know, um, put up a couple dollars or whatever. And whoever wins, take the pot. You know what I'm yeah, saying? As long as we get the matchup with the punishers, that's – listen, man. Hey, if you want that first round, you know, I know a guy. We can make that happen. You can see what's yeah, on man. the screen. You know, I, yeah, see I, I, I know. I know. I want to lose back to back like that. <laughs> Yeah, and listen, out of Charm City and, and, and his own tourney. <laughs> yeah. Woo, he going to be mad as I don't know what. That yeah, left the, a salty the, taste. Listen, man, that ass yeah, whooping they gave us. If you really want to play the Punisher, all you got to do is come in tourney league. Look, we saw, <laughs> we saw your offer. We saw all you got to do is come in tourney league. Misfits is in. Misfits is your offer. Off. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Coming up, I'm coming up there with him. Coming all right. Up there with what's him. up? That's what's up. That that's gonna be right. dope, man. I think uh, something that's never never been done before, you know. And I, my hope is at some point we can also have a team, you know, from North come down there and, and play some league play as long as we can make the schedules work, you know. Yeah, that, that's a that's a tough play though 
Eric, though, for real, yes. man. It, it's yo, because we were talking about it just as a team, you know, collectively, and it was just like, right. oh wow, it's like, man, we would have to play, get there probably like the day early, just so cats can show up. But then you got to, right. but then we start talking about like, damn, you know, motherfuckers don't really show up for league shit. So what makes you think right. they're going for? Like, you, you definitely so, got to be strategic in how you put it together. You know what right. I'm saying? You know, like what I see the misfits, the misfits, you know, are doing is I, I think, and I haven't spoken to them. I don't know this to be true, but I think this is going to help them with recruiting. You know what I'm saying? There's oh, going to yeah. be some dudes that want to play outside of the local shit and, They'll have that yep. opportunity, you know, to grab some guys. But, um, you know, like my, my vision with Tourney League is to make it exactly that, to make league play like a tournament. So, like, for the Misfits, when they come up, shit, if they want to play four games in a day, I'll give them that. You know, they want to play a triple, I'll give them that. Whichever, you know, my goal is to minimize the amount of time that they have to come here um, and give them as much games as they can handle in one day, um, you know, to – to get through the regular season and then the playoffs is where we really pop off. And that, that's like right. tournament style shit right there, you know, but you know, who, who knows, man, I think, uh, I think the way league plays pop up for everybody, Rhode Island is back up with league play. Now that's huge for them, you know, shout out the pig and Chris fine. You know, what I'd like that's to see cool. happen is, is, is kind of have like, you know, all the leagues kind of do their thing. And like every season, let's just do one big tournament with, with like either the league champ or like the top two teams from the championship game or something like that. You know, I think that could be cool. We did something uh, like that many years ago in the DMV with uh, Maryland States is what they called it way back. Okay. In. It was the precursor to Ocean City, Virginia Beach and Hagerstown one before all those came around. Yeah, like that. that. Yeah. That would be awesome. You know, get St. Louis involved, you know, and um, right. like everybody basically like when you're local, whatever that's going to be, you know, and then we like it's really like we, we were talking before about region wars. Like this is how we really do it. Like we could really do something like that where it's like the Punishers ain't pulling people from wherever, you know, like Scorpions ain't pulling dudes from wherever. It's like whoever was in your playoff roster. Right. That's right. You know, I think that'd be cool. Well, you know what, though, the way we travel, though, it's still like. <laughs> what you see what you see in league is what you see right. in tournaments. Right. So right. Right. You know, and, and I mean I we got a lot of teams that's like that too. You know, takeovers like that for us. Um Punishers, Lions are like that for us, you know, Browns. Um, you know, we we, we have a lot of teams that are ducks. They're they're all demons, they're all like that. Like what you see in league, that's their tournament. Gotcha. Hey, hey, uh, this is off topic. Brown's quarterback, is that still Rocket? Uh, yes, he, okay. he was Rocket in league play. Yep, Rocket. Okay. They had AJ as well, who was Ryan Squaw. But yeah, Rocket, oh, okay, all right, all right. They had AJ, okay, had AJ too, you know. So uh, I don't know if, if he goes Browns or Ryan Squaw, uh, you know. But Rocket, man, yeah, it took Rocket forever for this to work. Yeah, you the error. Listen, I was trying, I was trying, it was you the error. I was asking for a right. Right, right. They did the same to me. <laughs> yo, and it looked like you got like a little caption, yo. You, you motherfucking dome piece extra long, yo. <laughs> there you go with yo, the I don't know, like your shit, like that, that funny, <laughs> that funny shit, hey, yo. Holes, you no, no bonds, no whatever, yo. That. Hey, both. That, are right, y'all playing in Albany? Yes, oh, yes, yeah. we are in Albany. So it's all one. So let me ask you, you talking this, about right? the Baltimore tournament? Hold on, not yet, no. I got a question for him. So, yo, yes, sir. So you, I yeah. see what y'all did where he said, so, and I, I said this is what's going to happen up there because I totally disagree with the way they did this shit. How are you okay. going to make the top three teams out of B from Saturday bump up to A? So if, I'm, if I don't want to, like, if I originally paid to play B, I'm going to fucking tank Saturday. Right. Did they not realize that shit? Like, I thought about it. Like, yo, I'm literally going to tank Saturday. So I'm not one of the top three teams right. to play A on Sunday. Like, I you, think I, um, they should have just agree. canceled A. Let's be honest, yo. <laughs> I, I mean, I agree. There's a few factors in it. You know, um, they didn't want to cancel A, which I understand because they didn't want teams to drop because, like, it, the, the whole point of it is really to benefit MA and his family and things like that. 
Um, you know, they did ask the captains in the captain's chat, how do you guys want to handle it? This is what we're thinking of doing. And everybody was like, I'm down for whatever. You know, some people don't want to tap out. <laughs> and Rodney, you know what I'm saying? Like ego, right? They're like, yo, I'm down for whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh-huh. So they came up with this format. So now dudes got to deal with it, you know? But it is tough, I think, you know, especially if you are a B team and, and you're in B for whatever your reasons are, to be forced to play up into the A because you dominated on Saturday and then get knocked out potentially the first round like that, that kind of, yeah, I get that. That kind of sucks. It's a tough situation to be in. Um, my, my thought was just make it all one tournament on Saturday and then find some way to incentivize team on Sunday by wins or something like that. I don't know how they would do it, but, um, you know, or, or just make those five A teams go into their own tournament Sunday and do what they do and, you know, and then let B does what it does, you know. But I don't know, man. It's it's, it's a tough situation. They're trying to make the best of it. And it's all been stopping. That's why you're not getting any Southern teams coming up there, man. Oh, I already know, man. I already know, <laughs> you know. I, I hate to see it, but I understand, man. Like, it's – it's a tough situation, man. But hopefully, it, 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 it you know it kicks off well. But Baltimore, hey, we coming to there to fuck y'all shit up. <laughs> hey, no, nah, I already told no. Nah, I told him we want them, yo. First game, yo. We gonna beat the shit out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Bose, you gotta think about this though, right? I don't know, so you gotta go back to 2019, right? Yes, sir. When y'all came up, now y'all fucked us up, the the right. quote unquote scorpions. But did aftermath get with y'all? Because after I beat us by Aftermath. Oh, aftermath. oh man. I, I, I tore my Achilles that tournament. I retired after that tournament. I got it. Yeah, so no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Man, what is going on over there? Hey well, man, we are seeing the <laughs> That's all I would say. Hey, listen, a win is a win. They did beat us on Saturday. Right? It was a Saturday win. A win is a win. But that wasn't like I hate saying this, but that wasn't the punishment. It was right. punishment by name. So you beat the organization, but you ain't beat this team coming down the first week of August, though. And you you ain't you ain't beat this really? team. You ain't beat this team. Hey, all I know is I think I am don't don't go undefeated. I think I'm undefeated versus the Scorpions organization. Over the last decade, there's no right. mercy, Scorpions. Right, no mercy. Oh, so we, we start. Thing. We start. There's a whole different ball game. game. <laughs> it's a whole there's different, a whole different team. Game. <laughs> it's a whole different team. <laughs> okay, we starting over from zero now. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole different team. Whole different <laughs> swag over nah, here. Uh, it's it's no backseas. Y'all still got Proc and all the OGs. My, my record still count. It's no back right now. Hey, look, look. Like, 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 like now I said, I, I, hey, now I wasn't on that team. <laughs> we, hey, we got the OGs and they let the young boys loose. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me get, let me get my, my ears back on. Trying to tell you. We, we, listen, they ain't think we was going to do what we did in Atlantic City. True. No. You feel me? True. So we, we only getting better at every opportunity. So. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm going to tell you who be fucking us up down up there too, yo. Motherfucking Drew. I love Drew, but Drew, oh my God, yo. I ain't never felt the referee to destroy us like, like Maffle refs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drew, I'm yeah. like, bro, how you, like, how you miss out? How you not call that? It's like, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all got Drew in the pocket for sure. <laughs> yeah, hold on, and, and, yeah, y'all had a little mishap in y'all tourney league. Yeah, yeah. Every league, every league had a mishap this this uh this season, bro. Like, it's crazy. Is yeah. I don't know. I can't even. I don't even know what to say, man. Like, what can we do? <laughs> you just I'm got just score, saying, man. Look, score more every t- look, I'm gonna tell you like this. When we see Drew out there, I'm like, yo, it's it right now. I know the tables have shifted. It's ten on nine. He's right on now. both payroll. Yo. Oh, yeah, I'm like, yo, it's ten on nine. Drew right is now. a professional. 
Huh? Drew is a professional. He not on the hey, payroll. Hey, look. Mr. So, Drew. So those crooked ass cops are professional. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Drew, Drew, I'll tell you, I'll put it like this. Drew don't discriminate when he fuck up calls. He just, he fuck it up for everybody. <laughs> That's my bad though. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, I, I know they got a good crew. I've been talking to China and I think the refs they putting together, you know, for, for Charm City is going to be solid. You know, we, he, he, they trying to get the the best that's available. You know, they trying yeah, to lead yeah. out. You know, so, but we we looking forward to coming to Baltimore, man. It's always a good a good time when we come down there. You know, what I'm saying. So we, we looking well, forward yeah. to. It. I'm not playing in Maryland no more. Every time I play in Maryland, <laughs> I get hurt. It's over. You got hurt. I was about to say last time you were down here, you tore your Achilles. I tore my Achilles. Yeah, the that's year what before, tired his ass. Nah, the, the year before that, I tore my rotator cuff in Ocean City. I'm done with Maryland, man. Oh, I ain't fucking with y'all. I'm sorry. Damn. Damn. Oh, dude, it's over. It's over. <laughs> Well, listen. I got a nice. I got a nice hotel for you to stay in, yo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot you the details, man. It's don't don't be sending me the cap pipe. None of that. He's gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna sing. He's gonna sing to the hotels by the strip club. Right. Hey, man. You'll, you'll feel safe down there. I promise. Hey, hey, Trav. Don't, I, I'm not going anywhere near where any of your baby mamas reside, bro. So oh, you know what? Hey, look. That's <laughs> hey, look. That's Foster's. That's Foster's birthday weekend. I told him I got him. I said I got you, Jared. I yeah, him. I yeah. Got him when he comes oh, out, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jared, Jared definitely coming up missing. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Jared. We getting Jared fucked Jared. up Friday night. <laughs> Jared want to be in the hood in the most hole in the wall spot, like where, oh, that's where all up. the locals. Right right we're we're taking him out. to Norma James. We taking yeah. him to Norma's. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Jared, ain't, Jared ain't gonna, gonna make take him to Norma's and Lust. Yeah, he ain't gonna make it. Count him out. Hey, as as long as the wings good and the bear is cold, he's good, bro. <laughs> he, he gonna yeah. go to the right. Spot. We gonna take him right down Fells Point. He ain't gonna make it to the game. Working out here, yo. Yeah, we, we definitely out there, man. We try to come have a good time, man. I think it's going to be dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, And I, the teams are going to be crazy, I think. I like the team list, man. It, it, it's definitely, you know, it's a little yeah, better yeah. than AC. It's a little better than AC, in my opinion. I mean, minus the Lions. But, you know, we still got y'all coming down, main event, Blazers. Right. You right. know what I mean? So. Thank you. Blazers are coming teams. down, too, right? Yep. Hey, Blaze, was, Joey, was uh, the Rollers on there? Rollers are on there. I, yep, rollers, the rollers are on there. This, I the thought blade, they, the, they, they're still a team. Listen, the yeah, rollers, yeah, yeah. the, the, the rollers, the blazers, the rollers had wild. a takeover. <laughs> oh, the blazers okay. coming wild here. We beat them twice. They coming wild here. I already know. Yeah, uh, Rob Lane did some recruiting, but uh, the the rollers had a takeover today roster. So they defense going to oh. be some. They, they got, got Gene. Gene. They got Big yeah. Gene. Yep. Okay. So. Dang, I, I wonder. I wonder who Johnny's gonna bring. That's what I want to know. I see Johnny on the yeah. list. I don't know, man. Dang, Johnny's man. the biggest question mark to me. He because <laughs> he don't have some of the guys he had down in Nashville. I know we gonna have the same people, and we gonna come and play and whip the same people ass that step on the field. We ain't doing all that recruiting. We ain't doing all that. We gonna keep the game plan simple. Do what we do, and we are gonna show up and let the results be the results. Whoever we play. Whether it's the Punishers, main event, dogs, whoever, we're going to compete straight up. And we ain't, so ain't none of them teams they blew us City? out. They ain't do none of that. We, we always play A, Bo. Okay. I, I'm just we, never, we never, like, even in our own, like, this is our own tournament. We never play B in it. Yeah, we've I'm, never played I'm, B in Charm City. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. That's <laughs> all. Don't, don't, don't let us keep so, the trophy home, boy. We, we done, we done got that taste of A now, <laughs> bro. You, you ain't getting rid of us. You ain't got, you know, we don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. Ain't getting rid of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, I, now I heard Proc talking about, or like, y'all had an ill receiver core in league play. That same receiver core coming out for the tournament? Uh, yo, that's the that's the home. It's the same, yo, that's the same hey, receiver core we had right there on the low. Okay. You know Travis, what he can do, but now it's getting busy, too. <laughs> They, they let low. you play receiver down now? They ain't even let me spin yet. You know what I mean? I, I they ain't no, even let spin, me rock out but, yet. I don't have look, to. Look, look, look. I don't hey, have to. We, we save his ass for defense right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. Keep his legs fresh. It's like, yo, keep your legs fresh. But if we need you, bring right. your ass one up you, you know it's there. I, I, really, I really don't even have to play offense. I don't. But right. if they need me, I'm going to do it. 
Right, right. But no, he, he, he definitely a dog on offense, too. I but mean, shit, y'all probably seen him in, in like five man and all that. I mean, I'm going to tell you this. You can bring your best receiver to my side if you want. It's going to be a hard day for him. Just, just give him your so, early up. So, you know? but, but my thing is, if you're the best DB, don't you automatically go where the best receiver at? Or you stay on one side? You Richard Sherman? I mean, my, no, my, one A one B. The other side good too. So hey, it really we got one A one B. Who, who on the other side? Uh, Twin and Chris. We can put No No Jordan over there. Whoever you want, but <laughs> Twin and Chris over there. You come over there with me and my guy DC. It's gonna be locked up regardless. However you want to do where, it. Where my man played? My man that played quarterback at Nationals when you wasn't there, prop. I think number thirteen. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, third, yeah, yeah. He he he's on offense. Like I, I, mean, I like he, I like him. He he a good athlete. Oh, he he he's yeah, probably he's for real for real. He, him not like we have a lot of two way players. players like that could go. Yeah, now nah, he yeah. he a very good athlete, man. He yeah, is, man, very good athlete. I like him. I yeah. like him. So he he yeah, one of the receivers, problem. huh? He one of the receivers. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, good yeah. To but, but he could also play deep. You know. Like I said, right. yo, we got a lot of a lot of guys that 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 play DB and wide receiver. So that's who, the crazy who on part. The, like who on the O-line? Like, bro, this, is, this is a complete team. Hey, hey, hey Pro, we saying too much. We, we're seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, 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 who on the O-line, though? You're asking too many questions. Oh, no. Oh, you see, first, you see look, I'm look. doing my homework, right? First. <laughs> hey, look. Put all I got to say is you're asking too many questions. <laughs> hey, 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 Eric, all you got to do is go to the film at uh, AC. <laughs> If yeah, you want to see the line. Go look. We ain't telling you nothing else. Just, just put us on the schedule. We ain't telling hey, you look, nothing Hey, look. When you Listen. see me like this, and I still ain't get rid of the ball. You, you, you sitting real comfortable? I got time. <laughs> <laughs> I got time today, I got guys. time this time. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, sir. Listen, we, we out there, man. Tell them make it happen, man. Set, set this situation up. You know what I'm saying? And let's make it happen, man. And hey, we can make a friendly gentleman's wager. You know, absolutely. You know, you know, you know. I'm a degenerate gambler, so. Right. Listen. All these. You know, you know, you know, you know. Melvin, Mel's been calling you out for 365 days. So. Yes. Every chance he gets. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dude, man. He, he a good dude. But we definitely need to make this happen so I can take some money off his hands. You hey, know? look. But, but when you don't have, when you ain't gonna have Jared out there. Yeah, it's gonna make a difference. It's hey, make a difference. You ain't got Foster. It's it's all right. You know, we'll, we'll make a way out of no way. Yeah. I, I look. I you saw that look, look, look. Your whole tune I, changed up. You like? Hey, I was about to say. I saw that championship <laughs> picture. The whole tune you. changed up. You like? Yeah. Did y'all did y'all win y'all league? Yes. Yeah, yes. They, yes, they, they did. didn't. They didn't look too deep in that league picture. I, I looked about. Hey, what, 18, we might 19, we might look strong. light, but we heavy though. You know, what yeah. right. it don't take much. It don't take much, you know that. Yeah, people forget. Punishers had like sixteen, maybe at AC. Yeah, I'm about to say they don't look the deep. They don't ever look deep. Yeah, like their you know, life is taking over, man. Like dudes got kids playing flag football tournaments and other sports and all that. Yeah. So now priorities is like setting it. You know, you know both ain't trying to buy all them hotel rooms and shit now. So he like, right, look, we're going sixteen strong. <laughs> right, he like everybody in one room. Nah, I, I ain't buying. I ain't buying hotel rooms. Period, bro. Yeah, look, he's saving all that shit for Florida. And that motherfucking big ass that big mansion. That, that's why we got to win leagues and tournaments, man. That, that's where that money go. If we don't win leagues and tournaments. We at the red roof in, baby. Yeah. <laughs> facts, facts. You know, my wife ain't trying to hear that. She's like, right. man, listen. <laughs> I don't want them problems, bro. <laughs> like, if you paying for grown men and I can right. to come with you, I ain't trying to hear that. I'm good. Is that? <laughs> you all ready? That's the only way I can rationalize. I'd be like, nah, I'm 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 in the room with prop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like, hey, you see where his, look, you like, see where his ass was last flow. year, right? You see his ass wasn't there last year, so that ain't gonna work. <laughs> 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 true, true. True. <laughs> hey, no, nah, no. Nah, hey, look. Everything, if everything stays the same, and and no other shit break out. Yeah. You you in there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Nah, I think national is gonna be dope this year. Like with the way tournaments, AC, the way Charm City's looking. You know, I think nationals the turnout gonna be crazy. Yeah, I hope so. 
Speaking yeah, of especially national, especially since everything's starting to open up a little bit. Yeah. Speaking of nationals, uh, Eric, a few months ago, there was that discussion of a mid-season nationals. You look at the Charm City lineup. I would share it, but the connection is not very good in this place. Um, we got 14A, 22B. Is this the closest you've seen to a mid-season nationals type of tournament for nine? 14A. I, I think AC, yeah. AC, yeah, Charm so City's right there. You know, I think um, – I think it's important to have successful tournaments in areas like, you know, Baltimore, Atlantic City. Um, you know, at one point, Ocean City looked like it was like going to be that like that second biggest tournament. But you know how that go, um, because when we have strong turnouts, it, it just it, it helps rejuvenate everything. You know what I'm saying? They keep dudes looking forward to the next tournament. So yeah. I, I think right now AC is probably looking like the closest thing to like a, a, a mid, um, like a mid-year nationals, but that the Charm City turnout is phenomenal right now, you know. So and I think it's only going to grow even more. Hey yeah. man, for real, yo, it's been growing every year, every year, right. every year has been growing. Like ever since the induction of it, it's like damn, right? And, and uh, you know, shout out, shout that. out to Six Nine on that one, man. Six nine right. got y'all guys involved. The first you know, year it down. was what? It was us and seven point in the championship. First one. And the next year it was uh Laney's and who? Main event, I think. Laney's yeah. and main event. And then it was SI and the uh, SI main event. They wanted, main yeah. event. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Now last yep. year was cool, man. We we was just out there chilling. They had the food trucks and all that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. like it, it was it was cool. It was a good environment and everything. Yeah, and everything was at that one field too, you know, like right. had like five different games going on. And, and I think this year they got the main field. Dope. At that, yeah, still right. that, that's at, at the high school, right? Yeah, yeah. they yeah. got they got a booth, they got bleachers and everything, full blown oh. stadium. Yeah, man. So yeah, I, that's I, where the punishes still... and uh Scorpions game is gonna be. Listen, be what, 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 which one? That we're gonna be on the main field at Kenwood. It's gonna be Port well, Punishers don't... versus Scorpions on the main shit. Hey, listen, I, I don't know if you really want that, Trav, but we, you know, we'll give it to you if that's what you want. You know? we, want we want y'all first. Hey, you sure you sure you don't want a tune-up game first? We don't, that, is tune -up game. Game. <laughs> that is the tune-up game. That is the tune-up game. Y'all the tune-up game. I told you Jared not going to be there. They get, I don't they know get, why you keep they counting on Make it happen. We will 100% be there live on TV. Joey Blaze <laughs> doing the commentary and all that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Make, make that thing happen, man. You know, we can let Cannon Hall perform at <laughs> halftime, all of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it'd be dope, man. I, 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 think it's, I think we have to do it for the culture, you know? Shit, we'll yeah. play Rampage while we at it. We we could do tournament of champions right in Charm City. If whoa, whoa, want. whoa, whoa! Slow down. You gotta you gotta go through us first. <laughs> Listen, make the make the pool. Make the pool. Yeah, yeah. Go go through Rampage. Let it go. Let it go through Rampage other teams first. first. Make, yeah, make then, the, then you get make, to you get to the big dogs. Make the pool Punisher Scorpions Rampage. Make that the pool. Oh, we coming out we, first. But we, we don't want to play Rampage no more. We're tired of beating Rampage. I, I'm just saying they 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 y'all cousins. They the cousin champion. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah, <laughs> that's y'all cousins. You know, that's like cousin give, Pete. Give us Rob. Give us Rob Lane again, yo. We like stressing him out. You want the Blazers? Yeah, yeah we like stressing <laughs> Rob out, yo. <laughs> take the Blazers again. Yeah. Us, it's the Punishers, the Blazers. Rob, yeah. Rob, 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 down in y'all area recruiting right now. Do he can do whatever you want, Rob. I hope don't, you're watching this. Do whatever you want, Rob. Don't be surprised you see some of your countrymen on the blazer. <laughs> man, look, if we see it, any, Rob. we see anybody from the DMV on any northern team, yo, it it drives me crazy. Yeah, it drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like yo, I don't, if I, I see anybody playing from down here playing with the punishers, yo, I'm fucking them up. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not I'm sure. <laughs> You know, punish yourself a real thing. Uh, I, yo, you keep trying to. You look, look. You're like the black colonizer, like Johnny. Yo, you're not making a mark down here. Yo. You're not, <laughs> not, 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 
Yeah. Punish yourself, oh, man. Shit. That's all I'm saying. The, the yo, inbox, they don't heavy. even like they don't even like y'all uniforms, yo. <laughs> I don't like nothing about y'all uniforms. Matter of fact, you hate the year you, y'all, you y'all hate Whoopi Goldberg gums because they black. They black nah. <laughs> Listen, I hated I hated y'all uniforms when y'all came down two years ago. Them little aqua color, blue color shit. Them yeah, we gave, shit we gave, y'all bought. Yeah, we gave y'all the throwaways. You know oh, what I'm saying? That, damn, that's how you felt. Y'all gave us the throwaways. We gave y'all the throwaway <laughs> colors. Those, you know, those are the little nice, you know, pastels for the summer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't like nothing about them. Nothing. <laughs> Look, like, but your, your, your uniform got shit. some neon in it now, though. Man, not for long, yo. We, uh... we just... We, uh, <laughs> they, they getting the fuck up out of here with those. What, what, <laughs> we what let color somebody you design with? those. Y'all find out when y'all... Listen, y'all see them. Yeah, I'm gonna see him. They they gonna be slick though. Oh okay. yeah. Okay, we are gonna see. We are gonna have a big Punisher logo with the with the X. <laughs> Pun- punish with punish cool yourself, bro. Huh? Hey, you punish yourself. You could be the GM. You could be the player coach, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, are, are you paying our sixty dollar ref fees? I mean, hell you, yeah. Hey, look, I, need you to I send get tired me that of money then. <laughs> for for punish yourself, I'll pay the ref fees. Ref fees, I could do. Right. Out. We call <laughs> no mercy uh scorpions. It, it would just be punish yourself, aka right. <laughs> you can fund us, yeah. <laughs> yeah, DBA. Write it off on your taxes, yo. Write it off on <laughs> exactly. your taxes, man. Hey, listen, if y'all play in tourney league and win tourney league, I said if a DMV team win, I'll sponsor them for nationals. You want to sponsor <laughs> from win tourney league. <laughs> You only got to come yo, up. Just, just like you only got to come up yo. three weekends. So Look, how many man, regular season games do y'all play? Yo. August, but you said we August played, uh, second. This this past season, we played eight regular season games. And that was based off the number of teams, or just because of the availability? Um, it was it was more. I thought honestly, I thought a ten game season was too long because there's so much football going on with like five man, big man, eight man, right. nine man. Like, like the one thing that worked for us, our start and our end time was right on point. We didn't have to deviate any dates or anything like that. Um, man, and but y'all started of, that fucking 8 a.m. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't start y'all at 8 a.m. I start you guys whenever you want. You know what I'm saying? I start when you, you show up, that's when you can start. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> when we want, show I'll up. Y'all, I'll give y'all Saturday nights. You want Saturday nights? I'll give you Saturday nights. Come play three, four games on a Saturday night. Ooh, you know, gonna be Ooh too that, much. that, 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 I mean, don't get me wrong, yo. Y'all got some nice ass facilities that y'all use. So, uh, yeah, I, mean, I do I like the turf field. You know, listen, top notch. We give you the whole workforce media experience. You know, say you can even bring Joey Blaze with you. He could do the he could do the live joints. I, I'm down. I'm down to make that trip up there this fall. Hey, look, yeah. Joey, well, listen, Joey, part of, took- Joey is a, officially a part of the No Mercy Entourage, man. <clears throat> he, he's our cam- official private camera. Come on, bring your ass. Uh, jo- Joey well, got me. Already Chay. told you, no mercy, Che. <laughs> Reagan got me. Oh, yeah. Reagan's got me on the roster coming up there, man. So you know, I'm looking forward to it, man. Yeah, that's gonna be that dope. Be I'm, I'm, I'm excited to host the the Misfits. You know, um, you know, I think it's good for them and it's good for us too. You know, to to start just seeing competition outside of what you see regularly. Right. You know, but you know, I think we're gonna figure something out, man. We're gonna figure something out where we could do you know, like little things within each league where like maybe we maybe we create some crossovers where, you know, maybe a couple teams come up here to play triple headers or whatever. And then maybe a couple of our teams come down there to play triple headers in the middle of the season. You know what I'm saying? And, and make that a part of like the, the season experience, the league experience. I think that could be dope. Hey, hey tell me this, though. Eric. How, how does um how do you feel like the overall, you know, the, the teams that are in your league? as far as players showing up there, you know, locally, do they like 
typically show up all the time because it, again, it goes back to my point of, well, hell, if we have difficulty bringing in right. people here locally. Right. How are we going to get people to travel? I mean, granted, right. A majority of our of OMFFL league, we travel anyway, so right. traveling ain't the problem. It's like shit. It's if the numbers ain't showing up for the league. Right. How are we going to get these guys to show up? I mean, now, granted, if we do, if that does happen. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we can negotiate maybe like a neutral site. I I, I have no idea. Right. Well, you know, we, we've been thinking about like like South Jersey or something like that. You know, like maybe we incorporate the XFFL into this because they got fields in Jersey and stuff. Or, you know, we're looking mm -hmm. at some stuff, too. But, you know, if we get in Jersey, that that shaves an hour. You know, like that's like a couple hours for you guys versus three and a half hours. Yeah. You know yeah. Yeah. You know, the two hour ride. Then it's also like an hour and a half ride for us. So it's like kind of in the middle. You know, that would be kind of dope, you know, or or like um, like Delaware or something like that. Yeah. You know we find like a neutral yeah. site. Make it. That's actually a good idea. Pro if we could find a neutral site, you know, for a day, you know, and make yeah. that happen. I I'll look into that. That might work. That, that could be dope. Because I, I be think dope. that would probably, like, if that can be done, I think that, you know, that's that's the way I could only see, like, right. you know, uh, all right, yeah. Yeah, we, we'll, you know, we can make that happen. Right. Now, I think that'd be dope. But to answer your question from like a commitment standpoint, um, yeah. I think for the most part, you know, <clears throat> the teams, they get decent attendance. They may not get everybody they want, you know, every weekend. But, right, 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 right. you know, mostly everybody was able we gave them a 30 man roster. Everybody was able to get their dudes, you know, playoff eligible. The only team that really had roster issues was the Chargers. You know, mm -hmm. they just they just didn't have the commitment. Um, Browns had some roster issues be, like due to other leagues, guys playing in other leagues and stuff like that. Um, right. So one of the things we're doing to mitigate that is um, like eight man eligible is starting to grow in our area. So oh, we're going to, okay. yeah, we're going to do an eight man eligible league, you know, so that way Mark. we can control the schedule. Keep, keep right. Yep. Right. Right. Control the schedule. So, cause we have some scheduling conflicts with some of the other leagues and we didn't have a good enough relationship to like make it work. So we're gonna offer it and then and do it that way. Yeah. Yeah. What's good yeah. fellas. Who that? Rob. What's good. No, no, I, 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 I oh, we, deep, jump, we deep in here now. I had to jump on because I seen the man, the myth, the legend, Eric Bo. So I was like, look, you know what I mean? I only get to see him like twice a year, rode out in Baltimore. So, <laughs> true, you know, true. Robbie. Uh, Robbie. Um, yes, sir. Scorpions, Punishers, Sean City Classic, make it happen, you know. That, they that's, what they, that's what I mean, they want. They want. Give, they want. Give them what they want, they, Rob. They want, huh? They want. I mean, we were going, I mean, right now the plan is to do a random draw. So, Okay. Well, you know, randomly way, pick those two teams together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look, look, we doing Julio basement again. It might just happen, you know. <laughs> but we'll see. But uh, nah, man, you was talking about the uh, the the tournament league, and um, I don't know if you saw a couple weeks ago. I mean, we would love to to somehow you know bridge the gap, man, and and make it a big thing because like, I I feel like people just Let's get tired it, of it. The same people over and over again, and I mean, right now we're working on getting more locations, and and you know, with us being out there and, and making donations to these programs, right. I mean, right now we got three fields locally. Um, so I mean, we we definitely want to um, try to figure out a way, man, to make it work because um, I think that'd be huge, man. And then that way, because I mean, realistically, nine man don't have to go to Florida. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you know, if we got a championship league end of the year tournament it'd be the, the the championship you know what i mean tournament league end of the year right, be the big right. championship so i i mean I, I i definitely still i don't want to impact nationals right, 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 I, right. everyone want to do that but you know we definitely should figure out something man i think like we got enough like like-minded individuals that i think like you said we could do something dope man like where almost like each each area each local league could be like its own division right you exactly know what I'm and then you win your division, and then like each division winner then goes into a like another playoff, you know, right. to do something dope. And and if we could kind of figure out how to like Prox Point, it kind of makes sense. Like even if there's some neutral locations that we can identify, where we could have our own little tournaments, like like Charm City, for instance. Like this could be a a, a tournament that's like the league play teams come to get that like that crossover shit in, you know, something right. like that. 
Like that that could be dope, man. We could do a lot with it, man. There's a yeah, lot I'm, we could do. With it. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. I just I just wanted to jump on so you could hear it come directly from one of the commissioners in Baltimore to say Respect. we with it. You know what I mean? Because I feel I like you love know, it, bro. We we like Madison and y'all like ESPN is how y'all treat it. So like we a local, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a, a local small time network. So we just, you know, I wanted to come on ESPN and, and nah, let y'all nah, know. Rob, nah, Rob, we ESPN, they ESPN three. Hey, hey, look, hey, hey, now hey, ESPN hey, Eric, Ocho. Real, I, I gave Robbie permission to talk to you. So because it's, it's still Scorpion League, just just understand. That. Damn, look, it's, it's still. So Nah, but but for real, I think no, you know, I, could, Rob, I could come. I, I, I could come to the big kids' table tonight. You know, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, nah, but I, I'm feeling everything you're saying, man. I I think we could do something just like really dope. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, that nah, that should be dope. So let, let's you know let's. We start definitely got to keep keep that communication line right. open, man, and, right. and, yeah. and talk more frequently to, right. to make it happen. Because you know, as soon as communication dies, man, you know, out of sight, right. out of mind, that becomes a problem. Right. You know, like, oh yeah, Agreed. yeah. Last time we talked about it was you know July what fourteenth and shit, and here right. it is December, and it's dead. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, let's, let's jump on it, man. The iron's hot, so let's, let's make it, it happen. Like I know XFFL is with it. Um, I know Massachusetts is with it. I'm sure Rhode Island. They just get started up again. They'll be with it. Uh, YFFL is YAFFL is with it. So right, you know, we we can have a nice mix, man. Yeah, let's do it. So I mean, and I think it'll. I think this will open the door to a C division in a sense, because like if we can get all these people with it and you got 20 teams in an A, you know, playing in the quote unquote A of the tournament league, because now you're not breaking down a team and just going to a tournament because you got a, right. guys you can pick from. Now it's like your league raw 30 man right. limit. So now, the, I mean, to me, the player field will be a little more balanced. Right. And, um, you know, then you can break it down with though the, the league, the teams that aren't out there like that right now, they play in the C. And then they dibble up a little bit with the B teams, and then they realize, like, I can actually compete. But I think a lot right. of these teams right now are just sitting back because, you know, they just scared to, to put their feet in the water. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and once you open this up to them, it could make them get, you know, to the point where we got 50 teams at a tournament. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. 100%. So, I, yeah, I just wanted to 100%. jump on and say that. But, but, that but, you know, yeah, but you know, as though it's still all about – Making sure we have the fields right to Correct. accommodate, you know, right. fifty teams. You know, that, exactly. that's, that's key. Right, and, and, I, and listen, it ain't easy, and it's not cheap. And that's a, that's, that's a fact. fact. That's a fact. You, you know, like there, there's some economics that go with it, from insurance and all that kind of stuff. That oh yeah, play that that you know I'm now realizing and figuring out. So, but um, but yeah, man, I think you know, I think I think we can make this crazy. Yeah, definitely. Like, definitely. It's, it's so many different ways. It could even be like, so we got the nine man joint. It could like look at No Mercy Scorpions. We could we could even run shit where it's like, yo, we could do we could break it out like skills play five man, and then we do big man joints where each of the league play league teams and stuff like that. Like, there's so yep. much that we could do, you know, uh, together. So if, yeah. if we could get there, that'd be dope. I mean, and I think like you know, I, I mean, I will take my hat off to to flag football, you know, the World Championship Tour and all of them. And, I mean, if you look at how things were when it was the USTFL, man, it was like, basically, it was like the same thing over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you pay your dues, you do this, you do that, and this is how we're going to do it. But, like, I feel like right now with with the way the, the game is growing, we could kind of have that organization within, like, the just the group of the right. community that we have. And like you said, each league can, you know, Baltimore can have a five, D.C. can have right. a five. Like, it could be fives, eights, like you just said, everything, everywhere. Yeah. But it's so unified because if you look at it, all of the, the, the teams that's winning right now is nine man time, you know, like nine man guys, you know what I mean? So it's like, why not have these at every spot? Right. But then, like, you know, Jamie has said it before, like, if we became one thing, now we could create the umbrella with though the insurance is covering everybody. Right. We all put yeah. into the pot, you know what I mean? Like, I think right. we just as a unit, we got to think a little bit bigger, a little bit smarter because right now I feel like it's like, I mean, just locally, I'm gonna speak locally. I can't speak for no, but like locally, it just feel like it's every man for themselves. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. <laughs> and I don't care what they doing over there. Right. Even though what right. they doing over there may help us grow this as the state. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's just so many individuals. And it's like, and that's why like lately I've just been, whatever we thinking, I'm gonna just say it. Cause that way right. at least it's coming from the horse's mouth and y'all know like, all right, 
we doing the 20 league. Baltimore said they win it. Now let's see how we can bridge the gap and make it happen. You know what I mean? No, you, you 100% you correct, man, because it's like it's even things like like people don't respect each other's dates and stuff like that. Like if you got a tournament August 6th right. or 7th, why would I put a tournament on, on that date? You, you right. know what I'm saying? So I, I think the, the more unification that we have and standardization that we have, it just helps. Now teams don't have to pick like, oh, I want to do this, but this is going on on that date. Like we could really set down and, and create like a um, like a, a schedule throughout the year. That's mm-hmm. like so teams know from the jump, from January after nationals, this is what the year looks like. It's already right. set. Permits are already in hand. We good to go. Right. You know, like you don't got to look nowhere else. We got nine man, five man, eight, eight man, man, whatever you want. Everything's baked in already. League yeah. plays already baked in. Like we all got the same dates off for league play, for tournaments and all that kind of stuff. It's all baked in already. We, we ready to go. No, nah, which, yeah, I mean, I agree with you hundred percent. And, uh, like I said, let's just make it happen, man. And um, we could talk, sure. you know, deeper and, and make, you know, as far as bridging that gap and making it happen. Because, like I said, we we are, I mean, we we sit back. Like, I, we the type of people, myself and Terrell, like, we don't talk until we have information. You know, right. until we have something concrete. Like, I don't want to come to you and be like, look, man, we about to get this state of the art right. facility. Right. And then we right. keep talking about it. Then, like, a year later, you're like, yo, what happened to that facility you was talking about? You know what I mean? Right. I want to wait until mm-hmm. I got everything signed, sealed and delivered, then it's like, yo, this here it is. Let's, let's go. Right. You know what I mean? So, um, we definitely working and then trying to get some things and make some things happen, get more turf deals locally and, and things like that. But like y'all said, if we can find something in Delaware, Jersey, up the border, that way we can come up there for a weekend. Or like you right. said, even if we got to do uh 20 league North, 20 league South, we play four games down here and dry, guys drop. Right. We right. Play four games up there. Then that way, uh-huh. you know what I mean, it's balancing out the schedule. Cause yeah, it it'll it'll make the tournaments even tougher. Cause now you ain't gonna have that 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 gap, you know, because exactly. people get used to playing each other. And, but, and, and you know what? And I think like we start doing stuff like that, I, I think all the leagues gonna grow. Cause there's gonna be some teams out there that's gonna be like, Yeah, I wanna be a part of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like what they're doing right. is dope. I wanna get in on that. It's gonna help the right. leagues grow too. Yeah, I agree. Yo, and I thought about like Yo, there's a way that you probably kind of like piggybacking off of what you said, both about um about even playing like Saturday night, right? If if, if you could have like two games Saturday and then and then still play two games Sunday, right? You know what I'm saying? That way you still re- is it, you kind of treat it like a tournament, right? But you know you get to go the fuck back home and then right. you know so right. now you got four games in. Let's just say in the league play is like. What you mean? We, we could we could one hundred percent do that. Like that that's a great idea. We could one thousand percent do a Saturday and Sunday. So you come up right. like you know a one weekend and your like your your game is fulfilled already. You don't got to come back until play until like four weeks until a month later right. or whatever. Right. Exactly. You know. So then exactly. so then that way let's just say you have an eight a eight game um you know league league schedule is like yo I, I knocked them out and just you know in a month obviously in a month time. Right, but you but you got him in only on two weekends. You know, yeah, that's, that's it. Yep, yep, one hundred percent. Right here, right here on the other side. Wait, who's you know, the man? I, I, I got to get a clarification. I one hundred percent would love to have St. Louis involved in this as well because they yeah. they have a real deep league out there. They like twenty teams deep in St. Oh, Louis. Oh hell yeah! You know, so it would be crazy to have St. Louis involved as well. You know, um, it, it could be crazy, man. We Rob, when when we come down for. Uh, for Charm City, let's definitely rap, man. All right, that's you the bet. Yep. That process going. Yeah, I'm with it, man. I'm going to jump off. My family was watching a movie, but I, I I heard y'all talk, and I had to jump on. So. Hey, no hey, hey, Robbie, don't talk about it. Be about it, man. I, I know you about your word, so I, yes, I ain't sir. worried about that. I already know I already know your credits and shit, yeah. but uh, just make sure that you uh, – uh, just make sure you stay on top of it, bro. I got you, brother. That's We're going to make it happen. Yeah, we in there. We in there. Yes, yeah. I'll see y'all in a couple of weeks and, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of y'all evening. All right, peace, Stay peace. Right. I'm, I'm going to jump too, man. I'm going to let y'all off. Congrats again, Pro, on the championship. Thanks, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then Salute. We'll, we'll see y'all in a few weeks. Indeed. Joe. Oh, did we lose Eric already? There he is. No, appreciate no. you, man. Appreciate right, you, bro. Eric. See you in a few All right, weeks. fellas. Yo, who's twin? Oh, that's my guy. You know, that's that's a... That's that's my guy. I I think it's uh my linebacker, but I don't know what the fuck. I can't he tell because I think they're the one who said something about St. Louis. You 
UEA, it's me. Flint. I read the chat over there on the side. He posted this now. I know. Hey, we, we good? I'm in the dark. All right. Yo. He the chocolate his motherfucker out this bitch. Smile. Hello, can you hear me? Smile. Hear me? We can hear you, but smile so I can see where you at. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm on the road, man. I'm all the way up in fucking Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you. I was getting out to check the truck. Y'all funny. Ah, there you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I need to see you smile, man. Shit, I don't know where yeah. the fuck you at. I wish they'd. I wish they'd have thought about doing something like this ten years ago. <laughs> I know, right? Pre pre wife and kids. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and, a, yeah. and a little bit more speed. A little bit more speed. <laughs> Shit, who you tell? But yeah, it, it'll be cool. We can uh, somehow get all these leagues together. It'll definitely because I, it's a lot of guys that's good enough that's good that don't travel too so yeah I mean again I, I think that's what's going to build the nine man community there's and a lot of guys who don't even know about the circuit like when we when I was with Killer Bees uh, over in OC they had a lot of guys who were out there for the very first time at a circuit tournament and I, they were they were mesmerized by just how different it was once they got out there and saw what it was like. Mm hmm I bet. And it's one of those things where, you know, being from around where I'm at in Washington County, a majority of our guys for years didn't even travel. Right. We, and some of our best players weren't even traveling. They would just stay home because, you know, life gets in the way, work gets in the way. Sometimes you're on a team who don't travel. You tend not to go out of your way to travel because those are your guys. Right. And I think it'd be great to see this happen because I feel like it's something that's long overdue in the sport. And we're at a point where, you know, you take a look around this area alone. We have four leagues in a two hour radius of each other now for nine men. Mm -hmm. And when I did the final count, there was a total of 29 participating teams this year and nine men in all four leagues combined. Wow. Yeah. See? That's close enough to form like an NFL esque setup in the DMV alone. Right, right, right. Yeah, and it's crazy to think like you have guys, you have so many teams playing in two different leagues. We highlighted you guys in Rampage, Tri State Spartans. They did it as well, playing in both county and KFFL. Right. And you look at the total games between all three of you, Rampage. When they play in Charm City for the first time in, three, in a few weeks, we'll be on their 34th nine-man game. And I'm not counting nationals, by the way. Because if you count nationals, Rampage will hit 40 nine-man games played in 2021 alone. Dang, With, hold, hold on. What other league they play in that, to get them that many damn games? Rampage, not just the leagues. I'm talking tournaments combined, too. I should have mentioned that. Oh, mentioned shit. That okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. If you throw that in there, they have played 40 games already this calendar year. And we're actually not even six months since Nationals yet. So in less than six months, Rampage has played 40. You guys right. have played County Nationals 32. Damn. Yeah, it's it's a whole new game. There are a lot, most years, teams don't even play half that amount of games. Right. Or even a whole year. And right. now you basically have you guys in Rampage. And I'll give a shout-out to the Spartans as well. They play 24. When they get to uh, the Charm City Classic, they'll be playing in B. They'll be playing mm -hmm. their 25th game of the calendar year. Okay. And so like, I give teams like you guys and them and, of course, Rampage props for going out and just putting in as much work as possible. And all three of you were playing even in the preseason. Mm -hmm. we, went, we went and saw a tournament that No Mercy and Rampage played in down in Kenwood. I know there was another one. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, like that pre-tournament joint. Yeah, there were a few of those yeah. uh, going around last uh, back in March. Uh, we had the Spartans in the four state fours back in January. They played it against uh, Prime Time and the Maryland Venom in that tournament. Mm -hmm. 
you take a look at the dedication and the commitment, it's off the charts right now. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the sport is only growing. Like, triple headers are starting to become a new norm for a lot of teams. And that was something where years ago, when I first got into this sport, I couldn't even fathom playing a triple header in a day. Right. Yeah, me either. Until, until you start going to tournaments and you're like, oh, shit, I got to play three games in a day, like, in order to win, the whole potentially win the whole thing. Potentially you four. Play five games. <laughs> well, it depends on how bad you do on the first on, the, on Saturday. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, potentially, yeah. Having uh, – definitely playing four games, including the championship game, you know, on Sunday. That's that's a given. But, again, that was our – that was definitely our mentality going into it. Uh, one, to gel, but two, to get us tournament ready. So then that way we won't be as fatigued and, and we would have a different mindset. So, you know, going into a third game, you know, it, it'll be like, all right, you're fatigued. You got to fight through it. So. Exactly. And it gets teams more in shape, I feel like. Right. Than triple header right. I think double is cool for just pool play practice, but triples allow you to prepare for a scenario of playing a quarterfinal, a semifinal, and a championship. Exactly. Um, it's it's a wild time right now in the sport. It really is between guy uh, between the crossover, which the crossover of players has been insane. We mentioned Scorpions are the second franchise in the DMV to win two different leagues in back to back seasons. Uh, Misfits was the first when they won KFFL in nineteen, and then County last season. Mm. Uh, they almost they could have had a triple, they could have had a trifecta, but the Scorpion showed no mercy in that mm. overtime period. <laughs> uh, hey, oh, hey, think about this too. The only two teams that, that played in both leagues, right? That had triple headers, we were also in the championship in both leagues. Yeah. Like, I believe the old train of thought way back in the day of nine man, probably around the time I was growing up, you know, I'd always been at least locally play a game and you're done. Occasionally you play two games in a day. Now, right. all of a sudden, guys, they don't want to just show up for an hour and go straight home. They right. Play right. All day. They want to get in as much work as they can. And I think that helps the guys who are traveling from far away, you know. I'm, I also do the semi pro circuit from time to time. And you got guys there who drive three to four hours just for one game alone. For one game. That's that's the reason why, you know, like, look, let's make it worth our while, man. Like, even me driving 45 minutes away. It's like, look, man, I don't want to drive 45 minutes, play 45 minutes. Maybe, I'm sorry, maybe play 45 minutes. Granted, the game is going on, but I may not specifically be out on the field you know, all that time, like, you know, let me get a little bit of work in, you know, just like the other guys want to get work in, like, shit, none of us are getting paid out there, uh, technically getting paid, so why not try to get some exercise and, you know, while you're out there. Exactly, and, you know, it always goes back to that saying, practice makes perfect, and to me, I see it as the more practice, the better, and even better is making sure you play the right teams. You want to get in work against the teams that will give you the best challenge. You want to go against teams that you'll face on the circuit. You don't want right. to see some teams on the circuit that are local because they know you, and that's always right. a tough brawl. But at the same time, if you can go down to OMFFL one Sunday and hit up in one day Misfits, Rampage, and Titans – and then swing down the next week to Maple. You get an FOE. You get a Dream. You get Blackhawks. Maybe even play That's a Saturday tough. league. You go over here in the four state. You could go up against. Never mind. Yeah, you, you have to, I was going to say you're going to have to tell me the teams out there. Killer right Beans. now, right now, the best teams in our area for last season for this season. Broad Axe did pretty well. The Old Miller Light. Uh, they didn't get a chance to right. show what they had in Ocean City, unfortunately. They only had 14 of their guys there. Mm. Um, so it wasn't really a good showing for what it could be. But right. league, league ball this year, their roster they had 
was actually competitive enough where it could have played on a B level. And if they okay. had that team in Ocean City, I think they could have made a run. But okay. unfortunately, they had a tough draw of only 14, and it didn't quite help. Um, you know, X Dogs has always been a big team out this way. Yeah. Yep. Um, they just got to the Cafetel Championship a few last month. Um, they still can play at a good B level. You know, it's not that long ago, Ocean City. They had a plus 40 at the end of the first day, mm. got to the quarters against a tough Renegades team. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, how, how do you feel that um, those, those other leagues, the, the Washington County League, would fare in on Mills League? Depends which teams and how good they are. No, I mean, take, I want you to take the bet, the top two, and how would they fare in our league? Like, if Broad X brought everybody, I think they would probably, at the best, could be, they could sneak into six at best because okay. of how tough it is. At right. worst, nine. They did lose the Venom on day mm -hmm. two of OC, but, you know, it's kind of hard when you don't have the bodies in depth yeah. after day one. Um, I think, though, they'd be competitive enough to be a mid to lower level team. I don't think they'd get above that fifth spot because the league is just too deep. Yeah. But some teams they would give a pretty good fight to, depending on if they can get all their guys. Because they mm. actually – and the same thing when it comes to uh, Tri-State Spartans. Tri-State Spartans went out and competed with Bad Boys in Ocean City. They put up a hell of a game with Bad Boys. That was a back-and-forth battle. Uh, right. Five, six team might not be in the final of that game. And actually, Spartans had the lead going into the fourth quarter against the Bad Boys. Okay. Yeah. And if, if Tri, okay. Yeah. If Tri-State can bring the guys they have combined, because they do have a few pieces from Adrenaline Rush. Who oh, okay. With yeah, yeah, yeah. Damian Kaysan, for instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Linebacker and captain. Yeah, good um, good dude. Yeah. And from what I'm hearing, Charm City, I think they're going to be bringing a squad to Charm City. They're going well, to come ready to. They better. Yeah. It, it's, it's, a, it's a home – I call it a home tournament for the DMV. It'll be so, tough for them. There shouldn't be no excuse. Their, their, their biggest problem is going to be getting the West Virginia guys to come out because they're all Got coming it. down from Martinsburg, West Virginia. I don't know yep. if you know the proximity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm familiar with Martinsburg. Yep. Yeah, they'll be coming from the Berg. And if they can get the guys there, which Ocean City, they did a great job, I thought, with bringing in enough talent from that state to make it Ocean City. I think they'll get more for Charm City. And if what I'm hearing is true, they have a chance to make a run and be. It's just okay. going to depend on if they get the pieces there. I think Spartans can definitely be a team to compete in the LMFFL. I'm not saying they're going to be top five or anything like that, right. but I could see them sneaking an upset on one of the A teams in there. Oh, like beating us, huh? <laughs> I'm going to say you guys necessarily. Depends. You got, it depends. You never know. It's always a toss of the coin when it comes to game day. Like anything sure. can happen. Sure. Um, <laughs> um, Joey, one of one of these days, I'm gonna truly make you a believer in us. I believe in the Scorpion. I no, you, no, I, I don't, because you don't have us winning shit, man. You didn't have <laughs> us winning. I know you ain't have us winning math. I don't remember who I picked for math anymore. I think Not I picked us. Scorpions. I think I did. No, nah, man. Nah. I have to go you, back. I think you had Rampage again. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? You you didn't have us doing well in Atlantic City. You you just don't have us doing well nowhere. I wasn't sure what to expect out of AC. You guys surprised the hell out of me in AC. Because I – and I think that was when the team, I think, finally clicked was in Atlantic City. That's when all the – yelling yeah. and chemistry finally came together. Because after AC, I thought to myself – Whoever gets no mercy in that first round of NFL playoffs is in trouble, no matter what seed they are. And for the Misfits, that man, was the worst problem, possible man. draw they could have gotten. They're a problem, man. Like, yeah, they, they have something really good over there. They have something really good over there. They kind of – I can't – like, it's kind of like – and I'm not comparing the two teams, but just how close the games were, that's the only thing I'm comparing. Like dream, 
like shit, we only beat Dream seven to six. Now, I I felt that it could have been a much higher score than seven to six against Dream, but Misfits, man, good gracious, man, they they are a problem. They they pose a problem to anybody out there. Like I truly, truly believe that in my heart, man. Like they, yeah, they're Her- fucking. Problems. Yeah, and the the amount of depth and talent on that team, like when you yes. look at it, the team they brought out to playoffs, arguably was the most talented team I had ever seen come out of our league overall. Come out of what this league? area we're from, where I'm at, where I live. Oh, okay, okay. Well, well, yeah, it is all the, the majority of the talent team. is based along that I-81 corridor in Maryland, West Virginia, and up the PA. Right, so y'all had, the, y'all had the all-star team that we knocked off, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> Against the family team. To be fair, okay. to be fair, they had an OMFFL, MAFL, and YAFFL all-star team in county last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, right. had, they had 62 players on roster by season's end. God dang. Commissioner said, Commissioner said no roster limits. Right. Reed looked at that and smiled. He knew it was over for that one. <laughs> Damn, man. But how you keep everybody happy, man? You 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 could only play nine. It was tough. They did have a couple guys who were a little disgruntled, but you know, at the same time, they made it work. They got the championship yeah. on Sunday, on that championship Saturday. They only came about 32. So they were about well under what they had all season. Yeah. But at the same time, they had to write nine on the field to win it all last season. That, that's Chicago. all that matters. Yeah. And I, I, like I said, this is that's a team that's not going to go away. You look at what they're doing. They're playing in KFFL, OMFFL, and GCFFA. That's three different leagues in three different states, potentially four if they play in Bridgeport. Damn. Yeah. 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 I, I don't. Uh, I don't see him winning OMFFL, but <laughs> that's just me. But yeah, they. Yeah, them boys are bad, but yeah. Yeah, they, they got they got hella talent, man. Hella talent. I agree a hundred percent. Like the trenches, the scale talent, the team they had on the field at OMFFL that day, you know, as somebody who's watched all of those guys for the most part since the beginning, it just mesmerized me. Cause it was just insane. That team, if that was a local league team would run mm-hmm. the table and win every game by 20 or 30. Mm. With just that talent alone they have. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. you look at what they're doing, like, they're not just sticking to nine, man. They're going to fives. They're going to sevens. Yeah. Um, they're they're all over the place right now. And, yeah, that's the biggest thing, I think, as this sport is growing, is that you almost have got – it's almost gotten to a point to be a franchise, you almost have to play a second style, which I know you guys, the last style you all played was eight man and eligible back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> have you considered proc any point in time venturing out to a five an eight, or maybe even a seven? Uh, I have thought about five. I'm not going to even lie about it. It's just a matter of me understanding the, the gameplay. That's all. Like what if if I get to know the you know basically the nuances of the game, I mean granted playing quarterback is quarterback, but it's definitely different, you know, going from eight man to nine man. Yeah. So I, I know it's like hold up, man, but you're missing the guy, but now nah, everybody's out. You know, so it's like hold up, this is a street ball again. So your mind has definitely gotta be, you know, you, you definitely gotta a different set uh, mindset playing quarterback in, in those different styles. So again, I, I wouldn't mind playing it. It's just the fact that uh, right now I'm dedicated to nine, but yeah, I, I don't oppose. It. <clears throat> I definitely wouldn't oppose it. And seven man, I, I never played that. I would, I wouldn't mind that either. Yeah. And it's interesting when I was at the AFFL uh, New York tournament, seeing all the nine man talent and players just going in that style and just running through it. And you look around because Misfits are going to be in Indianapolis next weekend for that tournament. Um, Free Smoke, we're going to have a lot of the Bullets guys over there for that. Right. 
overall, the game has evolved so much to the point where everybody's playing almost every style. Everybody's crossing over. There's no such thing anymore as guys exclusive to one style for the most part. A lot of the younger players are venturing off. They're trying new things. Mm-hmm. And I think that's only going to serve to benefit the game. And I even like the fact that you're starting to see teams, and this is something in the last few years that's really stood out. Teams come over from other styles to play nine. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and locally, Adrenaline Rush did that. They came from the eight man Virginia style, which is oh, radically okay. different. Yeah. They, they have their own like uh, style down in Virginia where they have a state tournament every year down in Richmond at the end of the year. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Like, it's all state-owned and operated. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, they play with popper flags and everything. Uh, we did their we did our championship back in December. Um, but they came up from that and came into nine man. And they got an A championship, won Hagerstown in 17. They got a couple wins over the years against Strong Island and Lions in a few games. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, and, you know, you saw Empire at uh, – Atlantic City with the run they made coming over from the XFFL seven man style. Yeah, 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 and coming in the nine man and going against a right out team that had a historic defense in that tournament. Yes, yes, yep, and took AC. Yeah, yeah, and it's something where the next few years, and you even take a look at YAFFL up there, they got Baez, Auto, Gusto mm-hmm. Land, Gusto. <laughs> yeah, you know, I still love the image when they scored the touchdown, and Earl Leonard's is looking at the camera, talking smack to you while you're probably sitting on the couch and joining. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'll what, never did say, down. what did you say they were? Baez Auto and AFN combined. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, exactly. Like Gusto, I was like shit. Like, what is this, the fucking CB4 Gusto dude or whatever? <laughs> Gusto Land? It's, oh, you fake. Okay. <laughs> That's what I got. But, yeah, this shit was funny, though. I ain't going to lie. The <laughs> Gusto Land. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. I mean, you take a look at them. 717 Elite. They're starting to get back around again. We're traveling all yeah. that nines. Um, we yeah, because I think they were in AC, right? Yeah, they actually yeah. got two wins in AC. They managed to get their uh, first two circuit wins of the year over there. They had a pretty good performance there. Sure. They're all over the place. They're playing uh, the tournament this weekend I'm doing up in York, where the YAFFL just win. Yeah. Um, they were at FFWCT uh, East Coast Nationals for eights and fives. Okay. Um, yeah, like they're they're cross-training. They're playing any ball they get. There's – and that's something that I think is becoming big among skill players and linemen and other players, all the players really throughout flag is just being able to cross over into that other style and learn from it and apply. Yeah. And it's odd, but you can apply principles from other styles in a nine man. Yep. I mean, look at the, look at the innovation of the double pass play. <laughs> yeah. I think we were one of the originators of that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, yeah, definitely, man. But you know what, too? All of these styles started coming up with these nice, generous uh, prizes, which yes. entices, you know, a lot of these, I'm, I'm going to just say nine men, you know, nine man players playing these different styles to like, hey, that's a free money grab right there. Let's go get it. Hey, man, I never played five men before. Oh, man, just trust me. It's all good, you know. They come out there and that's that's how they are getting in there and, and just like trying to come up with that again, the free the free bag real quick. That's so. something, yeah. Like this that's something that's been happening a lot more and more is just the amount of money that's being poured into the sport alone. Uh, you take a look at the yeah. Charm City. Look at the Charm City A prize, four thousand. Right, right. Well that's- hell, let's take it even further. How much was uh uh, Dion shit, free smoke shit. Wasn't that ten? Man, he went. He did a ten thousand, and there was another one he did on Fourth of July. But I can't remember the figure of it anymore offhand. I mean, I he's know it was in the thousands. Big. Yeah, he's there. trying to do it big. I much respect to that young brother, man. 
he, he sees the opportunity, man. Yeah. And he's yeah. taking full advantage of it. I can't blame him. That's the way to go. Like it's the natural evolution of the game. I do believe there's a lot of old school directors who don't believe that you should have money thrown into the game like that. They think there's too much at that point. You're professionalizing the game, but at the same time to evolve it, you got to do this. This is what it's going to take. Yeah. This is going to bring out more talent because you know, I've always said these younger guys fresh out of high school, finishing high school football, some of them don't end up going to college for whatever reason or another. And usually right. for some, their careers is kind of dead as soon as they graduate. Right. Right. And I think the growth of the group. Yeah. I think flag football itself, whether it's nines, five, sevens, eights has provided an avenue for those kids. And it's, we're seeing so many younger and younger players out there be currently the youngest player to be playing in nine man at an adult age. Let me emphasize that. Mm-hmm. Um, would be born in two thousand three. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> was that was that the year your career was born, Greg? Oh, damn near. Actually, a little bit sooner. In, in, in the overall flag game, overall flag game. Seriously, I got introduced back in ninety eight, and that was at uh, playing at uh, Towson. 97 playing. for me, 97 up in Marty Snook. My dad uh, had a team up there. Uh-huh. They ran Wayne T back then. <laughs> we had a fullback. We had a halfback. We had a God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we're throwing the ball three times a game, but we're going to pound. <laughs> Not even three. We don't even get past the first one. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, the guy who played QB for my dad all those years ended up being the center on my team, my first team. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's, I'll, I'll post that footage again sometime. I actually got three games from the 1997 season when they man, played. You need to put that out there on YouTube, man. Put that on your YouTube page, man. I'm getting to it. I got to find the original VHS tape. I lost the I lost the files I had at first, but I'm gonna try to find that VHS tape that he had and put and restore it. Uh, okay. We had one. Yeah. There's one regular season game on there. Um, there's also a playoff game they had against a team called Hannigan's Outlaws, who was a stable. A staple, I should say, of this area. Mm-hmm. They were a team that went to numerous championships in a row league-wise. Uh, they got a big win on them in the semis that year, which actually led to them being in Maryland State in 97, where they went down to, uh, I want to say it was, it's a, it's a school. I know that, but there's a graveyard behind it at the field. Yeah, it's weird. You literally yeah, have dang. a football there's literally a high school football field with a graveyard next to it. All it's right. Down in Baltimore. I think it's, I want to say it's Edmondson. Oh, That's shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that the same? Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm guessing that's where Edgar Allan Poe is buried at. Yep. It is Edmondson. <laughs> yep. Yeah. They went up against the Chiefs in that one. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dad always said that's when reality set in about what this game is. He, he he knew right there and then what the competition was like. Like it was just night and day when he went out oh, there yeah. for the first time. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I'm just it's and it's crazy because uh, it'll be about 25 years since the first season I went up. And that's that's not me saying I've been there every season. There was a period right, right. Where I wasn't around because dad eventually retired and. I grew up, so once I grew up, I didn't know about Nine Man until about seven years ago. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, and that's and I only knew about it because my own cousin called me and asked me, "Hey, uh, you want to coach our football team?" And I, so I showed up thinking we were playing tackle. Right. You might as <laughs> well say up, it. Uh, as soon as I rolled up to Marty Snook that first time, I was like, "Whoa, this is the same league when I was a kid." That's crazy to me. <laughs> It's been a while. It's been a wild ride, Brock. It's been a wild ride. My first circuit game was against BC. Yeah, I remember you saying that. I remember that was uh, was that Ocean City, Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah I saw when you lined up. Yeah, 
You're like, oh, I don't I know what the fuck I got into, but yeah. <laughs> That's literally where I, I actually, I went down solely to just keep an eye on my guys and make sure like everything was good with them. Like they were live right. with the team. And when we got there, we had only 15 guys for that tournament. And I think Andy looked at me and said, uh, you want in? And I'm like, yeah, to help out win. I'll get it. Let's win a championship. Right. <laughs> I still remember we were at B-dubs, and he's sitting there talking to me, my center, Alan, and my DN, Paul. And he looks at us, and he's like, we got to play Mike D this weekend with the most serious tone possible. And all three of us were just like, yeah, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, look, my first introduction to uh, Mike D was in a uh, a Philly tournament. A Philly tournament. And, like, like he, he's a, he was definitely a cool dude back then. Still a cool dude now. Let me, let's not get that twisted. Yeah, but yeah. he came out just like, hey, I just need to know who's playing for second place. Cause none of y'all motherfuckers went. Like that's the arrogance that I was like, "Who the fuck is it?" And then we actually played against their team. The the yeah that that's where. And then he wound up playing defense out there. He actually played defense out there and picked uh, one of the at, at that point in time one of the top quarterbacks off in their championship. They they wound up beating the shit out of uh, this team called Team Jordan at that time in that Philly tournament. And he was playing defense too, cause they were short, but, and he wound up picking off the guy. He's like, yeah. I was like, yo, who the fuck is this dude? Like <laughs> this motherfucker's a beast out here. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah, damn. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, damn. That was a nice uh, introduction for you, huh? <laughs> yeah, you don't even think you had to Definitely, on, cause we had to play right Oh, you had to play, <laughs> Oh yeah, bro. I'm pretty sure. I, I think I wore. I think I wore my regular work shoes in that tournament. Yeah. Now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a long day for you, brother. Yeah. You should have cussed me. My, my, my memory of it was. But... <laughs> all we got. All we need. Yeah. That uh-huh. just said. That just said oh, more cattle to the slaughter. <laughs> well, I remember he put me up at one point. He put me on kickoff. Oh, okay. He had me on kickoff. Yeah, I was, I was about close to three hundred pounds at the time, and I had a forty of about nine point ten or at some point. It, it, I remember just chasing after one of the guys running down the field, and about three guys about over six foot three, looking like they're at least two eighty. They're jacked up. They all run right at me. And hit me all at once. <laughs> and I want to say that was my first play on the circuit. Yeah, that's when you should have just like Andy. I'm gonna I'm beat your ass now <laughs> <laughs> for putting me out here. <laughs> I thought most of us fell by the end of the weekend. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time though. It was a good time. Got good to play stuff. BC, ride out, and uh, speed kills that weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were definitely up and coming. Yeah, and that was in Virginia Beach, too, up. where they were all local to uh, force. They yep. had a full roster. Mm-hmm. Yep. The twins out there, yeah. Yeah, they were, they were definitely develop, putting a putting a roster together out there. <clears throat> so go back to your first nine-man tournament, if you, were, if you can remember it at this point. True. Okay. How much has changed from that tournament to Atlantic City last month? Oh, a lot. What's I the mean, biggest difference. Phys- physicality. That's that's the main thing. Like people don't body up anymore. Yeah. The thing is, but and and people go across the middle now, <laughs> and not and not afraid because back then. Yeah, like I said, man, I you know, I, I I got well I shouldn't say I did, but I got one of my receivers jaw broke just for going across the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's how vicious it was playing against the Packers in the tournament. 
Oh, it we going bad. way back. No, they, I mean, the Packers were still – shit, they were still surviving. You know, they were still thriving. You know, in the – shit, even in the 2010s, you know. So they were, so they were still relevant. You know, even when even when I, we got better, but yeah, this was probably maybe just a little bit earlier than that. When 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 my guy got his jaw broke, I was like, "Oh wow, damn, yeah." So the physicality, I will say that <laughs> there was no slant routes back then. You you catch a slant, you catch you catching a uh, forearm to the face or something. Nobody was going for your flag. I believe it. I believe it 100% going back and watching old film and just it was a lot more of a physical game. And I don't, and this is not me discounting younger players. I think a lot of the younger players, when it comes to bodying up and pulling flags, mm-hmm. I think they overthink it and they just try to reach for it, thinking the premises pull the flag. They don't understand that the way I believe flag football on an I'm in level is meant to be played. And I've always said this. Flag football is a suggestion because I think a lot of people, when they hear flag football, think, right. Oh, we're right. Gonna put on the Velcros and we're uh, just going to throw the ball around. Ooh, it's not necessarily uh, that. Easy. No, no. I, I, I tell people like when I say before, I even, it's like, great. What do you play? I'm like, yeah, I still play football. Contact flag. So I got to preference the contact first before I say, flag football because as soon as they think flag football they're like oh you play a little pop well, nah like you get hurt yeah you can <laughs> so i think there's more injuries in, in flag than they would in in pads i can definitely see it especially because of the fact that a lot of guys you know those open field blocks will kill you and those yep. late hits will kill you too just ask yep. Pete to me just ask who PME. Uh, didn't see it, did you? <laughs> yeah, I heard Cody. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cody. Mm. I will say that was probably one of the few times I'd seen it actually be called, though. Sometimes refs let that go, but that time it was enforced, and rightfully so. The ball was uncatchable. It was late, and – it's rough for PME because I knew because they definitely had a squad. They had a rough draw though. That PME rampage game is not a quarterfinal matchup in my head. That's, no, not at all. Not yeah. at all. That's a That's tough a, first game for any team. Yeah. You know. And yeah. And that's and that's something about you know, I felt the same way looking back at Ome FFL play also. You guys and Misfit. They were a high seed coming in, but on paper, that could have been easily a championship game. Yeah. And the following game. Yes. What I you, mean, either, either way you looked at it, even if we didn't go, Misfits versus the Titans, still you would think, like, damn, that, that could be a t- championship game. Yeah. That, so having watched them uh, back a couple months ago, when they or last month, rather, when they played in the regular season, that was right. the hell of a game. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask a few more questions, get ready to wrap it up. I know that it's past your bedtime. I know it's past mine. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Overall, your impressions of, I believe, was this your first season in Maffle? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. First season in Maffle, man. Yeah. What are your your thoughts on down there, the Tucker Road and the league overall? Um, I thought, I mean, to be honest with you, is it definitely felt, um, the talent, well, with ride out coming up this way to OMFFL, I thought it took away from the team overall team talent that was down there. I, I think it was still top heavy. Um, you know, you had maybe four or five, four definitely dominant teams out there, but that's including us in Rampage. You know that that was really doing something. Uh, I, I didn't. Again, I I still haven't seen Southside play at all. I heard that they did. You know what they were supposed to do out there, but came up short against um, uh, Rampage in the semis. 
Yeah, but, uh, the Kent put it in perspective for me when we were in the car talking in between games mm-hmm. on the uh, south side where he mentioned that they're usually a three-win team. They've been playing for years. They're kind of one of those squads that come out to play for the sake of the love of the game. Yeah. And for them to come out and beat an FOE team that's supposed to be playing A in a few weeks, that was the number two seed coming into the tournament. Were they? Yeah, FOE was a two seed. Southside was a seven. Oh, wow. (laughs) Okay. It, it was funny. I can't remember who it was, but during one of the games, uh, there was somebody in the comments saying that he's predicting an FOE Dream Championship. Oh, yeah, it was all that a dream. dream got dashed very soon. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It was all a dream. <laughs> oh man! But now that like um, it was different. I was expecting a little bit. Um, more other than like I said, other than excluding obviously our team and Rampage. Um, I definitely believe that we got the best from everybody, you know, including our two losses that we had over there with uh, uh, Petty and, and FOE um, out there. So, but they caught us, I mean, both teams caught us on that third game. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, and again, I'm not using that as an excuse, but. Would things be different if we would have played on, on one? But not taking anything away from those two teams, they're definitely heavy. You know, they're, de- they're definitely decent. Uh, definitely got uh, veteran leadership at that quarterback with battle. Uh, I'm not sure my guy name with FOE, but, um, but yeah, they could play. Yeah. And uh, there's – it's it's insane to think, like, just the amount of – overall talent and just seeing you moving your finger yeah i was saying i was going to say um once when you said talent the big difference between the two leagues quarterback play yeah because I again on ffl like maybe uh, you know maybe one two teams that may not have a decent quarterback in on MFFL, maybe. That's a maybe. But, you know, you get can you really say that about Maffles League, you know, with, with their quarterback talent? I mean, you have definitely some veterans, you know, obviously Tommy, Dio, uh, Trell out there with AFN. Yeah, battle as well. <clears throat> I mean, battle. Yeah, battle. Yeah. I mean, you have some you – got, you got some guys that know the game. But again, are they are they on that same level as what you see in on FFL? It's like, who, you know. To put it in perspective of OMFFL, from top to bottom, you got Chris Price, you got Doc, you go further down, Chris Boone and Tay Sosa on the same team. Mm-hmm. Um, you go further down after that, you know, you got Lonzel. You got TJ Holston. Yeah. Um, you got yourself. Um, you go further down. Uh, Jaleel, he's, he was yeah. on the up, up last year. He's had a rough season this year. I think a lot of that is just gelling with them and the yeah. Africa guys, a couple oh, of yeah. a hard schedule on top of it. Um, just, they've played almost all the top teams, no matter where they're from. Like, Bad Boys has had a really hard schedule this year. And I think them and gelling has kind of hurt them a lot. Um, mm-hmm. But I think Jaleel still has that potential to be one of the top guys. I think he oh, showed yeah, a flash last year. And I definitely. think he'll get back on track soon. Um, you go further down, you know, Venom. I, I've always liked Robbie at quarterback. I've, Robbie can make a lot of things happen out there with his feet. He can extend a lot of plays. Um, so can Cam. Cam too, yeah. Cam did pretty well. With Cam, Cam beat us, so. though. Yeah. Cam beat us. Uh, this overall OMFFL, I just – I've said – And don't forget about PJ. Like, he's still yeah. – to me, like, if he, if, he had a, if he had a line, man, that he, he's he's talented. Yeah. And so, like, that, like that's that's why I say, like, any given Sunday out there at OMFFL, like, really. I agree with that. And – 
I really do hope that I like to see down the road. You know, we talked about the idea of bringing leagues together. I would like to see that going forward. I do. I do think though it's tough because we have so many guys who just love to jump on a nine man team and just play both days of the week, no matter how many games it is. Like, We've gotten we've had guys playing in three leagues at this point on three different rosters, right? And I, and I think that's helped out from a player perspective because I always say if you work with other people, <laughs> you can learn from other people. Oh yeah, and grow from them. yeah. Get out of that comfort zone of who you're used to playing with. Try somebody different and see what you can pick up from them that you can apply to your own self and your own team. Yep. Yeah. Um, but we're looking forward to it. A lot of great flag football action ahead here, nine man. Um, we are, I think, what's next weekend? Next weekend. I think we're going to probably hold off on another nine man show till, let's hold off till Lydia's legacy. I'll get you on for that one. We'll talk Albany in a few weeks. Okay. Get our, let's get our thoughts on that because that's going to be the next nine-man tournament and anywhere in the country. We'll move forward to Charm City. Back-to-back weekends of nine-man tournaments. Got to look. Yeah. yeah. Always good for nine-man. Always, always good for nine-man. Going to give a shout-out as well. St. Louis, they're going to be crowning a champion on Sunday if rain doesn't happen there. Right. Uh, shout-out to Skinny. Yeah, shout-out to those guys. boys. Yes, um, I'm looking forward. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing the St. Louis t- guys back out here soon. I really like what yeah. they're doing out there, trying to travel more to the East Coast. Um, I know they're yeah. talking about getting a tournament sometime in the next yeah. couple of years there. Yeah, that would that would be nice too. I wouldn't mind taking the trip out to the loop. I love that too, man. I'm definitely down for that, you know. I look forward to seeing those guys at Charm City Classic as well. That's going to be, whoa, man. Yeah, yeah man. I think they're going to love it. I think they're really going to love it. Yeah, I think uh, the tournament we got coming up in Kenwood is going to be the event of the summer. Oh, yeah. Yep. It should be up there with AC. Definitely should be up there running neck and neck, if not better. That's what I'm hoping for. You know, I'm I hoping think- every tournament that that, you know, sees the next is better you know that's that's what we strive for so exactly and you know i the one thing i like about the kenwood setting is you can stand in one place and watch almost every game happen yep and and the walk yeah the walk is definitely not that far for anything and i'm pretty sure robbie and them they're gonna have the the food trucks out there and all the stuff that you need so you don't have to leave the field as long as I got Dion's dad out there vending, I'm good. <laughs> Love his food. That guy does a great job. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You gotta talk. You gotta talk to Free Smoke about that. I, I get, get the, I, hope, out there. I, I hope. I hope to see him out there. Like I love the stuff he makes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He, he was definitely doing his thing out there. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Well, eleven thirty. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's about that time for me, brother. Yeah, I got work at seven. So I'm and I gotta drive uh, three and a half hours back home for afterwards one time. So. All yeah, right. it's, thankfully it's my last night up here. Thankfully. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Thanks for coming on, Greg. Hey man, uh, always, always a pleasure, man. Thank you again, man, for doing what you do for nine man. Seriously. We you, no man. mercy, definitely appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure everybody in nine man. Really appreciate all your effort and and what you do for Nine Man. Seriously, Thank and you. we should take care of all of our media out there. While y'all out there, at least if nothing else, give y'all some water that way, so y'all could do what y'all do best out there. At least that way, y'all stay hydrated out there, especially on hot fucking days. So definitely support Jeez. your uh, your media guys. One hundred percent. Thank you, Greg. Yeah. Thank you. No problem, bro. Anyways, everybody, we're going to wrap this one up. We'll be back tomorrow night. We got a double header of shows. Meet me at the 50 with myself and Coach Crow, followed by another Blunt Talk crossover with Hanover Flag Center. 
as we break down and talk about why a FFL just went eight. And in a few weeks, we'll get back on nine man a little bit. We're going to be talking about in a couple of weeks, Albany, as well as Charm City, which get ready for a lot of content coming up. It's going to be a fun mm-hmm. summer ahead. Yeah, there you go. Shout out to Black Ops. There we go. <laughs> All right, Joey. I'm going to holler back. All right. Good night. All right,